Hello. Hello. How's the volume balance here? Oh my god, the chat's going insane. <clears throat> Game audio is low compared to my voice. <clears throat> I just don't want the game audio to drown my my voice out. Can turn it up a little bit. We can <clears throat> we can mess around with it and see. All right, before. I start. I want to answer some very frequently asked questions that I know people are going to ask, and I don't want to answer them over and over. Um, the first question is, when is the next Henry game coming out? Are you going to make more Henry games? Are you gonna make a spin-off with Charles and Ellie or any of the characters? No. The series is wrapped up. Um, I did everything I set out to do with this, the series and with these types of games. And I know that's disappointing for people to hear, but this game took a lot out of me and my mental health, so I don't really want to go through that again. For those that don't know, <clears throat> these games are like 95% me. I had Forte do the coding, which was pretty simple. Coding-wise, it's just hooking up scenes and then the odd achievement here and there, but most of it. All the story, all the voices, everything all the animation and art, some of the music. I did have Akure do a lot of music for completing the mission, but a lot of it is me and it takes a lot of mental energy to, to get through that. So that's question one. Turn the audio down. Yeah, that's my thought. Uh, the second, let me see, I wrote it down. Second thing I want to address is um, which ending is canon? This one I think has finally been getting accepted by people. People are learning that all the endings are canon. There's no one true ending. Every ending is just as canon as every other ending. Final question. Um, when is the mobile port coming? What, are you gonna make a console port? I'm not planning on making a console port of these games or this game because I don't know. It's the, you'd have to change a lot of the way the game plays in order to get it to work on a controller. I'd have to cut out stuff like bios basically because <clears throat> I don't want you to control a mouse with a joystick. That sucks. Um, the mobile port, I can't really start working on until we have a good way to emulate Flash. So that's just, we're kind of waiting on Ruffle to get into a solid place. Um, so that's that. And I, I, I haven't decided if I want the mobile port to be one collection again, or if it'll be each game on its own, or what. That still needs to be decided. Those are the three... Oh, I guess I'll answer one more that I saw someone ask. What program are these made in? Um, all the animation is done in Flash. 
Adobe Animate. The music that I write is done in FL Studio. Um, the programming, this, this one was set up, it was connected up in Flash Develop. I don't know if that will work in the future. Like, I don't really know where Flash is at in terms of what's gonna work and what's not. I think if it compiles into an app or an exe, it doesn't, Flash doesn't matter that much. You can still be fine. There we go, I can see better now. Flash develop is open source. But yeah, so those are those main questions. Um, I'm not sure quite how this <coughs> stream will flow. The chat is blazing. It's hard to read. Um, I'm probably just going to go forwards and, and play stuff. Maybe I'll do a Q&A as its own thing, but because if I did Q&A, I'd be sitting here the whole stream just answering people's questions. Can I add developer commentary? That's what I'm doing right now. Also, I don't want to. I don't want to discuss Among Us today. Today's stream is going to be all Henry focused. I think it's time to get started. Oh, I gotta get rid of starting soon. And I gotta clear my save file. I probably should have saved that well. Right off the bat, the remixed version of this song. People have, multiple people said the original version is better. To which I say you're objectively wrong. The only thing I will see is that the 8-bit part might be better <clears throat> in the old version. So the plan today is to play, I'm going to try and get all the way through fleeing the complex and then save completing the mission for another day, depending on how fast it goes or how slow it goes, how much I have to say. I have no idea. I haven't really prepared anything, so I'm kind of just going to roll through for all 499 of you. Do I plan on getting all the medals and bios? Ah, uh, yeah, I think I need to get all the bios, or at least the more the interesting ones. Doink, doink, doink. Um, I don't know why I decided to make the options button a guy with sunglasses. We had a second button at one point that was um, another face. I think it was options and then the other one was like subtitles or something. Then I put everything under options. <coughs> I'm also not going to play on full screen because I don't want the game to crash. Oh, my mouse isn't showing up. Let's see if I can fix that real quick. Why is it not? There we go. Capture cursor. Hmm. Oh well, that's probably fine. You guys don't need to see my mouse. The right hand man is literally the best character. He's my favorite, I think. <clears throat> I could have done a lot of things for save data options and stuff, but there was too much. Like, I just wanted to get it released. There was a thing I wanted to do where you could only delete like the bios and the achievements separately. Because I was really interested in seeing how a bios speedrun would go on this game. All right. So this is breaking the bank. I feel like I might need to turn off the bits notifications. It's kind of distracting. Someone asked why the game breaks down in full screen. It's a flash limitation. There's like, 
it was nothing I could do. I had to go through and make the, I don't know if this will make any sense to people. I had to make the, ver get rid of a lot of vertices because it was just too much. And anytime there was a giant blur, it would just take a giant dookie all over the computer. Shovel. So this one I changed from the original recomposed Zelda theme there. I could have made that look a little nicer. And then an explosion. Oh, I forgot to get the, the achievement. So the reason I changed a lot of the, uh, thanks for the bits. The reason I che changed a lot of the fails in this one was because I didn't think they were that funny. They were too like predictable. Like when he digs down here in the original one, you see him land on some train tracks and you're like, hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen. And then the train comes and then he gets hit by a train. And so I changed the three that I didn't really like that much. For the better, I think. Like this one, I had the sound delay on the explosion to make it feel extra meaty, like a realistic explosion. I remember I actually went and looked up a bunch of um, explosion videos on YouTube for like what was it called? Surplus armaments removal or whatever. And that was one of the things I noticed. You see the explosion and then the shockwave comes and then you hear it, which I think is cool. Teleporter was one of the ones that stayed almost exactly the same. I think I even tried to copy the, um, the way it looks. Oh, you can't see the muscles. And then I also kept the um, the fail screen having a unique sound like it did in the original. Because Breaking the Bank only has five fails, so I thought it could be interesting. I had to use underscore sans for a dynamic text because otherwise it wouldn't show up. Laser was mostly the same. I didn't want to put the little platform in, so this one was more interesting. I just saw an animation error. His mouth. It slides up there, that's annoying. What inspired me to make the teleporter a running gag? Thanks for the sub, Hal. Um, I don't know, I've always been a fan of running gags, and so after crossing the pit, having the teleporter in there just made sense. And then from there, I was like, well, I had it in the last two. Let's put it in this one as well. And then it just became a thing. Wrecking Ball. This one changed the most. The original was just kind of a Simpsons ripoff. Although I can't remember if that happened before or after the Simpsons. And I know people, I think, I don't remember if someone suggested it, but people wanted me to, ooh, hype train, I've never got that before. Um, people wanted a, like, came in like a wrecking ball, Miley Cyrus joke, and I was just like, no. So I had it be this, I, I played it straight, realistic. You would hear the truck pull in, and you can see him standing right there. I, man, this guy's never ending. Hi. All right, last one, the disguise. I used the same exact sound effects from before. Hey, eh, how did we lose one? Should, oh. I think we should throw it in the back. Just I re-recorded sure. these lines, but tried to make them sound exactly the same. You ever wonder why there's a bank out here? <laughs> And then my signature thing to do when people are standing around and bored, I make them sniff. It's just like the perfect thing to do when you're just like standing around. You just go. 
because I like um, I like the subtle motions that people do and when you see that in animation it just makes it feel just a touch more realistic so like when people scratch their nose or if they like do that sniffing thing or like in completing the mission there's a part where the guy like a guy does a thing with his tongue just like and just that kind of stuff I just like those subtle details uh, I'm gonna do this one one more time there was some other stuff I was talking about oh the the sound of him tying the bag was one of the first sound effects I ever recorded I think I used a towel in front of my guitar hero voice singing microphone and I still use that sound to this day Oh, someone asking about the um, the only character that didn't make it into this game from the original. The uh, what's his name? The the tow truck guy didn't make sense because I didn't want I didn't want this first game to have credits when it's so short. It's not even a game, really. All right, we'll do this again. There's another animation error here from Flash. This is supposed to be shaded. But it got filled in after a random hey, save corruption. How did we lose one? I think we should throw it in the back, just to be safe. It's one of the things Flash does is it'll fill in colors you randomly. Like you don't even touch it, and the next time you open the file, it's just filled in a color for you. I think it's supposed to be like more. Of a how was Henry's design formulated? Oh, that makes sense. I don't know, man. I the only thing I remember consciously thinking is putting his mouth slightly on the side compared to his eyes, not directly below it. That was the main design thing. I used to have um, like big cartoon bubble eyes, but that was too hard to like move around for me at the time with um, animation. So I ended up doing lines just on a whim. Like it, it, the original Breaking the Bank was made in high school. I was in my senior year of high school and I was just making something for fun with the knowledge that I had of you can press a button and it can go play a scene. I wasn't thinking about like, how can I make this into a grand overarching story? How can I design this character to be iconic? It was just like, ah, oh, here's a stick figure. He doesn't have any feet or hands or whatever. He's got some line eyes and he does random stuff. Um, let's check out the bios. Got it. There's little stuff like this that bothers me. Like <clears throat> you have to click off of Henry and back onto him for it to not show that it's gotten. But like it's we were getting so close to being done. I didn't want to like nitpick about stuff like that. Did I have the idea for the remasters first or completing the mission first? I think I wanted to do the remasters for a long time. And then when I finally decided to, it made sense to have a big finale on top of that. Chad Hansen, Philly Collin. I wonder who that's based on. Philly C, I call Phil Collins Philly C, the musician. Ted McAdams, a uh, reoccurring character here. Same with Winston Davis. Th I don't remember how I came up with their names. These ones had names before completing the mission. I received a level one hype train emote share. Damn, this is crazy. Sorry, I'm missing a lot of the bits coming in, but it's to be expected. <clears throat> Let's go to the menu. Oh yeah, I missed that achievement. Let's grab that real quick. Shovel. Why did I make completing the mission? Because I wanted to wrap up the whole story on a big grand finale. Which I feel like I did. Never dig straight down. I'm going to try, let's try and keep the questions related to the game that I'm in. So I see some questions about Ellie coming in and stuff. Maybe we'll save those for fleeing the complex because 
things might come up organically. Does that sound good? Make a lore-related chapter to end it once and for all. I did. It's called Completing the Mission, um, and it's out now in theaters. All right, here we go. Escaping the prison without the harmonica. Sorry, everyone. Oh, are you? You're free to go. Free to go. <laughs> These lines were also re-recorded because the original lines were recorded on my laptop in my Don't friend's bedroom. So there's like this weird high-pitched whine in them. But I had to match yeah, yeah. the timing so I didn't have to redo the lip syncing. I didn't check it, I'd lose my job. Not lose my I don't job. know if people can tell. <laughs> See you around. Probably. There's also a piss pot in the corner here. Hmm. A staple. Also, one thing, I don't know if I made it clear, if people figured it out. The idea here is not that he has all of this in the cake, it's that the cake contained only one of these things. Thanks for the sub, Nixolijit. Why is the harmonica gone? Because it was a copyrighted song. How was developing the Ace Attorney reference? I was really proud of how that turned out. I wrote up a whole word doc for the um, a dialogue. The story about the for the story behind the Ace Attorney bit. It was originally just going to be a quick montage of him like going to court um, without any a dialogue or anything, just having some instrumentals in the background. I think I had like a SpongeBob song um, playing in my head for it. And then he gets sent out at the end. And that's why in the stick page version, it's called the lame ending. But then after I made this whole Phoenix Wright epic section, I had to change it because it wasn't actually lame anymore. Because I started playing Phoenix Wright right around that time. And I was like, oh, Phoenix Wright would actually be a pretty good like reference to do. Oh, yeah. I'll start this. I'm going to go into Flash and go through all the all the characters on that screen. Also, September 9th is my birthday. That's why I picked that day. I also changed it to say courtroom NO to align with the way it goes in the original game. And I added this testimony text. Got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Objection! Hold it! So, the defendant crawled into that bag. This part was such a pain in the ass to do because lip syncing is extremely tedious. Is it really that obvious? And this scene is basically all lip syncing and a little bit of pose to pose. Someone asked, what made me decide to use my own voice for all the characters? Um, I'm shy and I don't want to ask other people to do voices. Sorry, one second here. Before we move forwards, I'm going to open up. this scene in Flash, so we can look at the, look at the people on the phone. Step on the gas. Will we get voices for voiceless characters? No, because there's no more, <laughs> there's no more. This is a rare behind the scenes look at to you what they look like in Flash. So here we have number one, Jay Kelly. Jack Kelly from uh, Always Sunny, his Charlie Kelly's uncle. Uh, A Justice, obviously Apollo Justice. F White, Felix White, Phoenix Wright. You get it. I don't remember what the M stands for, but Hyper Chicken is the guy from Futurama, the, the ch lawyer chicken. That may be just a simple Hop a chicken. Jay Pianta is the lawyer from Super Mario Sunshine. F. Reed is Fletcher Reed, uh, which is Jim Carrey's character in Liar Liar. And then, of course, Saul Goodman. I think I added him later. I didn't watch, start watching Better Call Saul until like a couple years ago, and I'd already finished all the remastering for this by then.
Someone said, if Henry was not guilty, why does the government still say he escaped prison? Because they can, I don't know, they, they, they can see through his like scummy lawyer talk or whatever. They, they know the real truth. All right, back to the game. I also added the attorney's badge in here to really bring home the the classic Phoenix Wright. Take that. What is this? It's evidence. Oh, I was two left thumbs watching. How what am I drinking? drinking? I'm drinking some tea. Well, I, I had to redesign I all these sound effects from scratch too, which was I see a no whole journey on its own. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Present the badge all the time. And then, what kind of third-rate lawyer did you hire? Something that I'm, I'm pretty sure he gets called a third-rate lawyer often in the game. And then, I did remove the funny text that used to be here just because I didn't think you could zoom in. So, in, in the original game, I knew that you could zoom in. And so I put little funny details like that for people who wanted to look at it. But I didn't think you'd be able to do it in this full game. There you go, boy. Thanks. Uh, doctor's analysis. There used to be a bug here where every time you click the arrow, it got louder and louder and louder. I think that's fixed now. Oh, in, the, in the original, also, you could mash present. Take that. And you could keep going, take that, take that, take, take, take that. Yes. But there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? What? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. Was the Phoenix right bit meant to branch out? No. Again, paralleling the way the game works, every wrong choice is like goes to the same wrong choice. As you can see by this I added this little opening window to too to match with the game. While I was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. Oh, and this guy the was attempting to dispose of is my own my own character I made up. I wanted to make up my own prosecutor and I was inspired by Von Karma. But I wanted to give him my own twist. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body. I couldn't remember Von Karna's name at the time. But for real, how did he do it? You'll never know why. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. I tried to get this to look like a black and white screen, but it didn't really turn out that good. You guys can't, you can't, you can't be happy to me. Well, that I gotta pay attention here for the bios. If you miss these bios, it sucks. Dongus. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Not guilty. Oh, hang on, I gotta pay attention. Got him. This background was one of the last things I did for this game. It wasn't until, like... I was done with completing the mission. That's how long it took. Got one out of three, one out of 18 fails. Did I base the energy drink off of real energy drinks? No, I didn't know that was a thing. I don't know if they were out in 2010, nine. Why does the phone have babysitters listed? I don't know, it's default, default categories. This phone was also based off the first phone I ever had. Well, that's not true, but almost the first phone I ever had. The Razer flip phone. Why does it have morticians? Why does it have banks? Um, how do I go, do I go back? Who made this game? Oh, I also added a little scroll in and out thing for all the maps, which I think is a nice subtle detail. Now I have a rocket launcher. Can I still do some of the voices? I should be able to do them all, but I pitch up the voices so that I can't recognize my own voice because I don't like listening to my own voice. 
opens exactly the same. I had to add a little scene here to make it make sense. Uh, way to aim, buddy. When I made Breaking the Bank, did I ever think about how Henry tied the knot on the outside? Uh, no, I was following Looney Tunes logic, and I still think that I do. People get really into the details. And I'm like, it's a cartoon. You don't need to think about it like that. Teleporter again. Back at it here at Dairy Queen. Ready? I spent like, I don't know how long, not that long, but I tried to make his voice actually sound like it was echoing far away. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't emulate it. Why did I make the fail text creepy? It doesn't look creepy to me. Let's see, energy drink. I had to rewrite some songs here too. <laughs> he gets powered up. He moves so fast. This was inspired by Over the Hedge, I think. It was my favorite scene in Over the Hedge. I also like that this guy's name is Blade, but then he gave himself a nickname Knife Man. I think Two Left Thumbs commented on that as well. Grab the donut. This is how I remember the game now, like the old garbage backgrounds. When I see them, I'm like, oh wow, it looked that bad. Can't you make it feel like it's coming from a distance by adding reverb? Yeah, it's not that simple. Throw Rupert in the trash where he belongs. I think I wanted him to be another recurring character, but he just gets more and increasingly minor and minor roles in each of the games. I think in completing the mission, I forgot. So I had to like throw him in somewhere. <laughs> All right. Which one did I have more fun making, ITA or FTC? I don't remember. They were both kind of, um, FTC I think I was actually full time on. So probably less fun. <laughs> I was working a part time job when I was working on infiltrating the airship, so. There's my first repeat question. I'm sure someone in chat can answer it for him. All right, file or drill? How come Dave doesn't have a grudge against Henry? Dave's, Dave's a nice guy underneath it all. Drill, drill, file, 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 drill. All right, file it is. Uh, uh. This file window was the one I would always test fail screen stuff on. Oh. Uh, one of the interesting things about this is this joke works a lot better if you haven't gone any other path yet. If, like, if this is one of the first choices you do, the idea is Oh, the window's right there. I'll just go out the window. It'll be easy. And then, surprise, you're on the 18th floor or whatever. And then pro tip, look before you leap. This one, too. I think I even tried to make him go even higher. He used to go, like, down here. He needs to go even higher, but I just couldn't have him reach. But... This was one of the hardest things for me to figure out back in the day, getting the QTE going. You've got the reflexes of a statue. Mm -hmm. And then yes, I know he comes from this side. How did he get there? Blah, blah, blah. I don't quite have an answer for that. There's another guard coming. I think when I first planned out the scene, there was like a <laughs> wait for it to loop around better. But it just didn't work out once I actually got there. Thanks for the sub, AJ. 
And here comes one of my favorites in this one. Straight Shooter with his backwards hat who talks like a straight G. Yo, check yourself. Check yourself. What the? What the? I gotta get the donuts too. Low key for your favorite fail. There's the worms reference. Yeah, kind of. I don't think that one was intentionally a worms reference. Janitor doesn't count. I gotta do this one twice so I can get all the bios. Yeah. Got him. Oh, first try. Speed run. Speed run strats. Fatty. Because he broke the vent and it fell down. And each of these characters have like... I think I have a bio related to him slipping on the gun. And I think... Oh, yeah, I did re-update this animation because it looked really weird in the original. One of the few things that I reanimated. And then, oh, that scene there. I had to add a scene of it falling in case this was your first path, just so you know how high up you are. See if I have anything to say about this. He burns his fingies. I'm always a fan of sounds that don't make sense. Like he breaks glass or something when he lands, but there's no glass there. And he gets hit by a car and then... I don't remember why I made this the fail quote in the original. I think it was because of the train. It kind of is like a similar thing and the bank truck, but I don't know. It doesn't make as much sense now. Parachute. Ooh. Pivot point wasn't that good there. This thing lagged so hard when I put a bunch of blur on it. Oh, and in the original, I forgot to put a stop in this movie clip, so he kept lifting his head open and it looked horrible. And this, oh yeah, <laughs> I could pull up what this says, but I've, I've personally seen it so many times I'm not that interested. And I made this frame by frame instead of with a tween, just to make it look more nice. Takes many hours of jetpack training before you're able to operate one. Duh, what were you thinking? I'm not going to endorse any mods to this game. For you who are asking. Why is Henry never careful? That's just the thing. There you go. Someone posted the jetpack text in the chat. Did Gadget Gabe make the teleporter? Did Gadget Gabe make any of the gadgets? Where did I get the sound effects? I bought them. I bought a lot of sound packs so that I could use them for games. In the original games, half, it was like Smash Brothers, Zelda, uh, Half-Life, but obviously I couldn't do that for this. <gasps> Shit, I missed it. Damn it. Guess we gotta go back. I wasn't paying attention, I was reading the chat. Let's go again. The sun is a deadly laser. And this game came out around the time the laser collection was popular. That's why you see this stupid ass guy show up over and over. Became another running gag because I can't not do running gags. Also, run cycles are a pain to do. This one is honestly not that good. Alright, that's that one. Everyone back to the base, partner. I 
I haven't played SCP, so I don't think that's a callback to SCP. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna try and make this room like really echoey, but then I forgot to do that in every every room of the game going forward. It's the opacitator nader. Opacinator? Opacitator? Beep beep. And then, yep, Neverhood reference here. When he reads the mail. I almost put my voice in to sing for it, but I didn't want to. <laughs> Did I do the shoop de whoop whoop voice? Yeah. Whose voice is my favorite to do? Obviously, it's the right hand man. Oh shit, I forgot. Huh? Give me Bungus. There we go. There's a lot in that room. I wonder if we should go look at it. I know you're not seeing what I'm seeing right now, but I just want to see if there's anything interesting. Oh, it's got my favorite. Um, all right, let me bring it over. It's got my favorite. Uh, what are these called? Demotivational posters. Teamwork. Share victory, share defeat. A classic. I quote that still to this day. And then I got a painting of the beach. And then down here we have Ungus Bungus. I forget that you guys need to be zoomed in. He got his leg ripped off, but he's still running. And then Dig to China. The arguably the most famous of the Inner Sloth games. Oops. There we go. Where'd the game capture go? There we go. It wasn't showing up. Oh yeah, there's some stuff on the walls and stuff too. Gotta have the angry face sticker. Hi. Have I been thinking of making the Henry Stickman files open source? No. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't really know what would be, if you want like the code base, I don't, I don't know, maybe the code base, but it's so simple that I don't feel like I need to, you just need to learn how to make, make buttons and make them go to scenes. I don't want to make the art open source because people already rip off these games. I like how his mouth shoots out and now his like lips are sagging off of his face. I think for the longest time there was two Henrys here for a couple frames. And then I made made it so this quick time scene doesn't go all the way back to the beginning. The original song here was called Agnery Face, but it wasn't on Newgrounds anymore, so I couldn't reach out to the artist. So I had Zan's Lands write a song here. It's pretty well, I think. All right, let's go. Up and at them. He runs up the wall. An amazing parkour move. That's not how you do it at all in real life. That's okay. All right. Get ready for the easy part. But you didn't know that. But the bios, the bios will lag the the actual movie clip. Loud wind sound. I gotta take a quick bathroom break.
boogie time. There's nothing to boogie about. What was the hardest background to redraw in Escaping the Prison? Oh. Honestly, probably the... Um, the Matrix scene. You can open that up. Let's play through it first. Matrix scene was hard. The... This lobby was kind of annoying. I had to just give up in the center. Oh, and I added a hand grabbing the bullet clip so you can actually know what happened. Because a lot of people didn't understand. They thought he like shot with his finger like this. to write another version of the ringtone song. So, all right, let me open up Flash again. Here's this whole scene, I'm running. There was, let me see if I, yeah, this part here used to have two Henrys, like one frame apart. I don't remember how it happened but I noticed it for like years and then I finally figured out what was causing it. Click, all right, here's the zoomed out version of this background. It's just a rotating circle, which I think is fairly clear when you're playing the game. It's just, I think it was tweened and then I keyframed, I went through and turned them into keyframes so that Things didn't get messed up. So it's, yeah, it's a massive background that just rotates. I wonder if I can show a flash being stupid in here. So, no, oh, I fixed it. Never mind. Right, that's that then. Back to the game. I got all the fails. I don't think I got all the achievements. Oh, I forgot it's a joke. I guess I can get that real quick. Oh, wrong spot. This, uh, this achievement is just... <laughs> Alright. It's time to come clean. That means it become opaque. That means see-through for all you uneducated folks. I played this off as a joke that like he's being a smart ass like I'm smarter than you and you're dumb because you don't know what opaque means. I thought opaque meant see-through. In I took computer graphics, you, when you mess with opacity it makes things see-through so I thought opaque meant see-through. And for years I was like, oh it was intentional, I've come clean. Have I thought about something for completing an episode 100%? Yeah, it's called the completing the mission achievement. I forget what that, the multiverse one in completing the mission. <laughs> Thanks, thumbs. There's a donut in the bathroom I got. That's not a donut, that's a bagel. Get that guy out of the chat. Oh, I also re-recorded this line because there was um, another wine in the background. Thank you, yes. I used to have this keychain. It was an actual merchandise from Newgrounds. And then the little tiny ring that holds it together broke. And I think I lost it. Someone asked about the girl with the hair in Escaping the Prison that uh, 
used to have red hair and now doesn't. She's not related to Ellie. I changed her design even just to make sure because I apparently made too many redheaded characters. No, Johnny. I know you said not to ask, then why are you asking? I already answered. All right, let's do... I don't know about people in the chat. Do you have a specific way you play through the game each time? Because I think I do. I usually bust in first. And this part... Is the old fake out, you think he's on a, a giant epic motorcycle, but then he's on a scooter. It was really funny to watch uh, Jacksepticeye play this, and it just perfectly, exactly what I wanted to happen, happened. And you could hear it from his commentary. It was awesome. Here is the iconic scooter. Oh yeah, and I, had to re I wanted to remove any keyboard input and keep the game completely consistent. When I made the original Flash game, I just wanted to try new stuff each time. So I was like, oh, I should try like keyboard input. <laughs> Henry on the Walmart Rascal. That sounds like a Harry Potter book. Jump. <laughs> and then obviously I like to change the fail screen for each of them too. This one is like a, uh, like a sign in front of a door, kind of. Ram it! Oh, I gotta get all these. He's gonna take a few tries. Whoa. I. Uh, we got a breach headed towards the medieval. This one is high roll. I forgot the other ones. Uh, I guess I can go look in them. Um, I can go look in the documents. There's the um. I don't even know what that one's called. The guy that taps his temple, but he's a templar. And then we had. Sparta, tonight we dine in hell, 300. How did Johnny Panzer die? From the rock, or did he get run over? He fell out of a moving car that was going really fast. Um, I also had the Putis Heavy. Actually, it's time. All right, hang on. I want to show something. Let me just open up the... That room, so we can look at all the paintings. Did Gadget Gabe make the gadgets? I don't know, did he? Oh, I left Flash open, oopsie. Um, I had to draw a top-down view of the layout of the museum just to help myself. So here's where you come in, and then here's one of the things, and here's the two hallways. Here we go. This face. All right, let me see. I don't know where. I don't know which window this is. I need to open up a new Chrome window. We're about to have some fun. One second here, not that one. Oh, here it is, this one. All right. First 30 minutes of Source Filmmaking. 30 minutes, here it is. It's like Christmas morning. Sniper! <laughs> <laughs> there it is, there he is. That's him, it's my boy, Heavy. Was that showing up? It wasn't showing up, was it? 
There he is. I'll watch it again for everyone. It's like Christmas morning. Sniper! Sniper! <laughs> oh, we already had it. There he is. Pause, you doofus. The resemblance is uncanny. All right, enough of Chrome. Get Chrome out of here. What else we got? We got Hattie Hattington. I know I'm uh, repeating a lot of what Two Left Thumbs has already covered, but... Oh, here's more of the museum layout. I think this was an old idea. Yeah, here's the full layout. Just, I'm like annoying about consistency. And so I wanted to make sure that it all kind of made sense. Uh, we got that boy. We got LOL what apple instead of pear. I forgot to go over the bios and escape in the prison. I can do that. We got garbage art here. Painting it. I, for a while I had all these named and when you clicked them, it would show the name, but it was just too much. So I changed the, the design of it. And then I went the Banjo-Kazooie route. Oh, these are different colors. That's nice. I went the Banjo-Kazooie route and made the collectibles, make a, make a, like a collectible from a thing. Uh, I'm going to go look at escaping the prison bios real quick. See if there's anything interesting. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place here. What is the, pro that program is Flash. It's a Banjo-Kazooie thing, yes. Uh, I should have done Bold in the Brash as a painting. That's a good idea. No, it's the, um, the Are You Ready Kids, Rupert Price. I needed to give him a British name because he has a British accent. Dave Pampa, this guy's last name was made up by some random dude in the Henry Stickman wiki, fan wiki. Like, back in the day, people were just making up their own names out of nowhere. And I was like, sure, why not? I don't know. Actually, that was part of the inspiration for wanting to make the bios in the first place, just so that people couldn't make up their own names. <laughs> and then we got Harold Ronson. Blade Knife Man McGee, yep. Cool guy. Kev Portley. Coming up with this many bios was really hard. Names. He got beat up because he had a weird ass name. Ryan Goldman. I remember someone somewhere said that this guy was, he appears somewhere else. I don't think he does. Carlos Burt. He likes to stay there. Straight Shuda, that's his legal name. Oh yeah, and then the joke here is that they're all, all their names are a form of John, almost. John, Jen, John. They're all spelled, oh, they're not all spelled differently. I thought they all were. John, Saskatchewan, or Wean, I don't, I don't know. And then Jom, with an M, which I think was a typo, but I liked it. And he's the guy that failed out of firearms training because he's fumbling with his gun. See, and then he's itching for some action. How does Henry get Wi-Fi on his phone? Um, the Razer doesn't have Wi-Fi. It's just cell service. Question about clothes. Yeah, that's one of the, this is one of the weird inconsistencies. The mayor has clothes. This guy doesn't, or does he? Actually, I think he does. I'm just not going to address it. This guy's na or inspired by Colonel Custard. And he doesn't like janitors for some reason. Jonas Nugent. Bad luck, Nugent. There's three captains at the... Uh... Oh, this guy should have a different colored hat. Oh, well. There's three captains at the, the Red Mesa Penitentiary. 
Oh, and that inconsistency there, it's Red Mesa or West Mesa or whatever. It's because I wrote the bios like three years later and I forgot what I called it. <laughs> this guy's sleeping and drooling on his desk and no one knows his name because he's always sleeping. And this guy likes to steal people's lunch. And then, yeah, here's the Ellie thing that I made fun of. Gary Gray. I thought it was cool that this guy's name is just like two letters flipped. And then Ungus Bungus. And I really liked that I was able to come up with a name that sounded so similar. I used to call him like, I tried to keep the initials the same, so I called him Phalanx White, but it was just like, I liked Felix. Hubert Brown, just sounds like a judge's name. Okay, I've had no clothes in the Flash version, but he did in the remaster, yeah. I'm not gonna talk about ships because I don't like shipping. Vladimir Von Braun. You can see the inspiration for Von Karma. I couldn't remember his name. Winston Davis is back again. Chuck Samids, he works at Sandwich City. These bios, I was like, this at this point, I was like, hmm, am I going too hard on these bios? You have to like click on random ass people in the background that don't even matter. And I started to need to develop some rules in the future of like, you can't click on every single character. It's just gonna be a pain in the ass and not fun. Dane Sloyd, Steve Stevens. We got Bert Slim. Tom Hardly, kind of like Tom Hardy. He's got cool sunglasses and badass, just like the real Tom Hardy. We got Captain Ed Roberts, the final captain. Red Mesa. Jimothy. <laughs> I've always liked the idea that if someone's name is Jim, their full name is Jimothy. I had a friend that used to call a guy that we worked with Jimothy. How many parts do I think this will have? Hopefully just two, but it's going pretty slow. Then we got Michael Benz and Matthew Flexer, which is the Futurama reference where Bender has an evil clone named Flexo. And the only difference is that they have a Flexo has a goatee. This is literally a copy pasted graphic with, <laughs> with a goatee pasted on it. There's a lot of duplicate names, just like in real life. Didn't Markiplier think you needed all the bios to get the secret ending? I don't know. I didn't make it clear, kind of intentionally. Hey, when it comes to shipping, people are allowed to do whatever they want. I don't care. I just don't want to comment on shipping because I don't like it. I don't like it. It's back again in about time too, to address all comments. Jacob is not related to Ellie. There, it's official. His name is uh, inspired by a childhood friend of mine because the way he talked reminded me of my friend. And we used to hang out and play games together. All right, here we are again. I missed the painting already. That was quite a break there. Jousting. It's harder than it looks. When the Flash dies, you you can still play this game when Flash is dead. There's my boy. You know what? I think I need to address my boy because I don't think you guys know who that is. I forget how old I am compared to you guys. Let's see. Oh, it didn't open. There we go. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. This piece is what all true warriors strive for. My boy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. This piece is what all true warriors strive for. I bet a lot of you didn't know that. 
because you're as old as this game was when it came out. Someone said that at the beginning of the stream. All right, I have to have a good old, this isn't a pun, it's a play on words. Uh, shoot, I missed. There's some weird stuff when it comes to clicking in this game. It doesn't register the, the click. LMAO, I'm literally only four years old. Put your hands up, boy. Put your hands up, boy. Coming up with unique voices in the last game was really hard. I, I tapped myself out a little bit. I'm trying to remember what the, the hardest background in this game was probably just the main one that you see of the museum. It took a long time. I'm gonna change the tow cable into like a sticky suction cup instead of a claw thing. And after that, they just up and arrested. And these three paintings are the yeah, screensavers nice from nice Windows 95. I figured in that garden. I wanted to stack them on each other. Crap. I'm glad I was able to reach the guy that wrote this song because this one's a classic. And then he gets run over. Small detail. <laughs> Wait. One of the first few things Henry actually says. I liked the um the flashing lights effect that I was able to pull off, but it was becoming really tedious and hard to do, so I kind of um leaned out away from it. <laughs> Pervok is great. Back when I knew him, when this when I used his song, he went by Xenon or something. Grab the rock! Hit him in the face! No, Johnny! He's dead! He, I wanted him to appear down here in the back, but... I forgot. And then I had to record my own Australian voice here. Boom. Headshot. Is the name Red Mesa a reference to Black Mesa? No, I think... It's just like, I think it's an actual place in Arizona. I ended up looking it up. I just wanted something that sounded deserty. I messed up, I quit too late. Hmm, sticky grenade from Halo 3. And then the sonic bubble. I was able to remake that bubble sound using a uh, Sega Genesis sound font type thing. Oh no, the bridge is out for some reason, Sir, and there's no way, <laughs> there's no dangerous, danger signs. You leave me no choice, sir. Boo. Yeah, everyone that, uh, all the musicians that were cool about working with me were awesome, and the people that got excited were so cool too. Sir, place your hands where I can see them. Bribery is a federal offense, sir. Federal offense, sir. See, that's um, that's Rupert right there, sir, down here. Place your hands where I can see them. He actually has a line in this one. And for some reason, this electric scooter has a gas tank. I just realized I haven't been reading any of the fail text because I'm so used to not needing to read it. Not he's not bald. He's got a little uh, sideburn. You leave me no one thing I realized after I finished making this game. The final choice in two of the paths is the diamond. The final correct choice. Bald, bald. He's not bald, he's thinning. And then this one I had to rewrite too because I couldn't get a hold of um, X core. I tried. Well, I didn't, I didn't rewrite it, sorry. I had um, Zan's lands. I just pulled from his library actually. So that's... That's the all QT all the time path. How about we sneak in? Is Henry a selective mute? No, Henry is a silent protagonist. Does Henry have more than one scooter? I mean, he could fix it up. You don't know. He gets away with the diamonds money. 
Thanks for the kind words, soft hat. I'm glad I was able to inspire you. Jumble Hoppers from Pilot Wings 64. If you haven't played it, it's pretty good. The original had the original music. Spoosh. And in Pilot Wings 64, if you touch the water with the Jumble Hoppers, you lose two points off the final score. I think the sneak in, actually no, the, the epic path is my favorite in this one. Ooh, I f just remembered a fun bit of information after this. So this game is the first game that the teleporter works in, but I almost George lucas the whole thing and made the teleporter not work. And I had that gravity cap work. So that's why this new scene is in here where he falls and bashes his entire body on the, the cliff. Because this was how the gravity cap was going to end. But then I was like, what am I doing? People hate George Lucas. Why would I do that? So I changed it back. <laughs> Please, I just want to see Dave. Well, you'll have to wait. This was one of my favorites in the original. Yeah. Whoa, what are the odds of that? Falcon. Falcon. Pong. 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 I also like it when people move into a new pose in one frame. I find that funny for some reason. Is the Penny a Hitman reference? No, I hadn't played Hitman at the time. I thought it was just a funny thing. Invisibility pill. Oh, I had to change this one because I, this background updated. So you couldn't fall off anymore. And it was confusing anyway. So I just made it a super lame one where it's like, I don't know where you went. Honestly, this is, this is the secret ending where Henry gets away with the diamond all by himself. Oh look, a penny. Oh look, a penny. Hey, he sounds just like Reginald. It's almost like I can only do a certain set amount of voices. How do I decide on the options in the game? That's hard. It got really hard at the end because I've used up so many ideas. But usually I come up with an objective. Like in this scene, your objective is to get down to the bottom without hurting yourself. And then I go, okay, what would be a method that would be interesting for that. Well, maybe you just jump down. And then obviously that doesn't work. But sometimes those blatantly obviously dumb ones do work. So you never know. And then I wanted to have the portal gun. I started getting more into references by now. But usually I write them all out on paper and then once I get to them, sometimes once I get to them in person or in flash, I change them at the last second. Someone asked what my favorite fail is and I don't know how to answer that one. I think the one I usually say is in infiltrating the airship. It's the gravity bubble. That's my personal favorite. And where is it? to actually read it. Got it. I was proud of myself for being able to make those portal sounds. Well, make. I stitched together samples, but still made it sound like a portal gun. Yeah, I, I changed the, it to a wormhole rifle just to be safe. I don't know if I actually needed to. Yeah, this is McChicken. Now he needs his Big Mac. See, like, here's one hammer. Why would that's stupid? Why would that work? And then it does. You get cut. Why you no bleed? Uh, this game came out around the time I was reading stupid ass rage comics on Reddit. And so a lot of that humor rubbed off on me. That's why there's like three rage faces in this game. And it makes me cringe Reno. 
Someone asked if the mobile ports are official. The only official mobile port is the original infiltrating the airship. All the other ones are stolen rips. But this upside down answer, I don't even remember what did that. It was like a children's book type of thing where it asks you a riddle and then you just turn the book upside down to see the answer. And somehow I remember that and put that in here. Because I intentionally don't want any blood in these games so that um, everyone can enjoy them. And when you get sliced in half, it's like, what? I wanted to I wanted to annoy the people that ask really detailed annoying questions like what's the anatomy of a stick figure? Because it doesn't matter. Do I have any animation advice for beginners? My advice would be to look up the 12 principles of animation. Even if you only get like the just look at the big 3 are squash and stretch, easing, and I mean, all of them are good, but the, the one that I find the most helpful is squash and stretch and pose to pose. You can do a lot with very few frames if you're using squash and stretch. <laughs> That's me gasping. They bleed ink. I missed it. Cheese. Back when I made this one, I wasn't allergic to cheese, but now I am. Was Stealing the Diamond supposed to be the last game? Yeah, actually, it was planned to be the last game. It was the third one, if you count Breaking the Bank. I figured trilogies are nice. I'll just stop. I already answered the Jacob question. But if I had been allergic to cheese when I made this, I probably would have like made him explode like a balloon or something. Like in Cat in the Hat, the critically acclaimed Mike Myers movie. I liked this one. He has to scramble to lift it up and then it falls down again anyway. Practical joke. Plank. I think that, that sound a is a plastic wall. ruler really? yeah. on a desk. You go, ding. <laughs> ITA is the true beginning. It's almost true. It's kind of funny. This jump used to have a song from Worms, and it was so much better, but I can't use it. It's from Worms. And I mean, this one has a, a whole story behind it too that I guess I could get into. My friend and I, I think he's in the chat, Martian Battle Plan. We used to make games in RPG Maker and send them to each other. And I took one of his games and edited it a whole bunch. And I made a scene where the main character has to jump over a gap and it plays that song. I'll pull it up. I think I have it. It plays the song as he's jumping and then he crashes into a pillar and it abruptly cuts to black and it was like the funniest thing at the time. Worms. This one. But it would cut right as... And it was just so good. I want to do an RPG Maker stream sometime. So that was my homage to that. I do a lot of inside jokes that no one will get. Uh, one of the things I changed in the remaster is I gave every faction their own set for guns. So the governments get this... Uh, this is the police, they get this M4. I think the government gets M16s. But this used to be an AK, which doesn't make any sense. I gave the AK to the the rogue type faction, the top hats. And then in fleeing the complex, they get like Russian type weapons. Bunt. I told you, dog. I told you about stairs. 
Will I do small Henry animations? Probably not, but never say never. I read all of Homestuck in two weeks, all right? It was a big mistake to read it that fast, but it was right when it was ending. I had read like, I don't know, probably only half of it. I thought I was a lot closer to the end. And then I stopped for like three years. And then he was finally wrapping it up. I was like, I should read this, but I don't remember anything, so I'll start over. And I read the whole thing in two weeks, and I felt dead afterwards, but it's good. I don't know. I liked it. It's very unique. It's hard to recommend to people because it's so different. And the fan base is very passionate. <laughs> but I thought it was really cool and unique and I'd never seen anything like it before. And by the end, you're so emotionally invested that it just hits you really hard. Here's the diamond correct choice again. I forgot about that guy. I saved these backgrounds for the very end too because I just didn't want to draw them. I don't like spending times on backgrounds that you only see for 30 seconds. I get everything <clears throat> back to the lab again. Just watch Jojo. Well, I mean, that's another one <laughs> I like, so. <laughs> oh, don't mention that thumbnail. Who dares? I didn't know that this sound in the original was from Jojo. I just thought it was a funny sound. And that worm, the color in the original is so bad. All the colors are horrible. All right, liquidificator. 10 out of 10, everything is 10 out of 10. It's, it's very simple. You just go through the wall and then you become yourself again. Duh. I, I made a little um, approval stamp And then he turns into a puddle and sinks through the ground. Okay, everyone, your favorite character is coming. Yeah, so These are all guns from World War II. Uh, he used it to escape. And then I got fired. My Pretty boy, lame, Dave. Huh? Yeah, I don't really lame. like this. Uh, please, shut up. Oh, I just, I just this is the, you know, what, M1 Garand, I think I tried to do. And then the Sten. I like the Sten because it had the side sideways ammo thing. What was the original price for the game? I don't know what you're talking about. And then we have a Luger and a... I don't remember this one. I looked it up though. That whole thing I think was just me ad-libbing. What I think is the cheekiest fail text. It's hard to remember. Mauser. Yeah, I think that's it. I think this one is my favorite in this section. Just completely annihilates his foot. And then I didn't want to draw him turning around. Turning around animations are a pain in the ass. So I just had him do a horrible, like, turn the gun the other way shoot pose. Thanks, Retro Dubsy. I'm glad that I can inspire you. Smash! Shoot the gun! Oh no, there's no ammo. Poker face. <laughs> Get it, guys? Poker face from, uh, from uh, Rage Comics. <laughs> I tweaked it a little bit to give it my own spin. Because it used to be like an exact poker face pose. I just, I just, I just... Uh, I, gotta I gotta win, win some. some. <laughs> uh. And then I made him fall over and actually get knocked out just because he looked so bad when he just stuck to the pole. I was very lazy in this one. Stick people don't have two toes. You can only see two toes because it's the same th reason you only can only see three fingers right here, but he has more than three fingers. The other toes are behind the second toe. Rip Dave. 
retro room. This is my favorite room in the whole game, I think. I really like the tiny, huge island pictures, the small one and the big one. This is some Greek place. Oh, I miss Luigi. And then, yeah, here we have the musical instruments from three different Zeldas. I didn't put the harp in because um, I didn't like the harp. <laughs> and then here we have an alien. Aliens? That alien voice is me, by the way. I am speaking like Charles right now. This is what Charles sounds like. Go, go raise the pitch up and you'll hear it. Crowbar from a certain, I don't know what game that could be. I hate it when that happens, don't you? Oh yeah, and then we got the Jiggy from Banjo-Kazooie. I used to have like, it was some green thing. I think it was supposed to be the mine from Diddy Kong Racing, but it was so unclear. I was like, nah, I'll make it something good. All right, time to catch some Pogemans. Someone's disappointed. Good. Tim and Joe would like to battle. Tim and Joe sent out Joe. Go missing no. Oh no. Press the sun and the sneaky ending. I really wish I could have used the original Windows 95 sounds for this. They're just so classic. Apparently I only have one fail total. And 116. So that's cool. Oh, that, someone's talking about the the guy who thought he, his computer got a virus when he got to that scene. That's so funny. I had to write this song too. There's a Sonic ring down here. The song actually turned out pretty good. I was happy with it. I couldn't use the original because it was a remix. And also I couldn't reach the artist. Adam. I didn't realize that the, um... Wilhelm scream was like public domain and I could have used it if I wanted to. But I tried my hand at making that sound myself. Giant cactus. Here we go. First appearance of the Chaos Containment Center. The Center for Chaos Containment. It's coming from the museum. Does it say something binary? Yeah, it says fear is missing no. I had to add a filter to the cigarette so that you could tell it wasn't a you, marijuana cigarette. Just hit one of those buttons to deal with this joint cigarette. Situation. Who's watching TV? Get back to work. I'm glad I was able to use a laugh track and have that still make sense because I couldn't use the other sound. Do -do. Oh, I gotta tell the story about that guy. <laughs> The other guy that was here, I think it was just like some random dude, like Rasputin or something, I don't remember. Tactical nuke incoming, it's over. Tactical nuke incoming, it's over. All right, I'm about to take you guys on a journey. If I can find them. I posted this on Twitter a while back. I wonder if I'll be able to find them. It's a story of Gilnar the Great. Everyone's favorite here there. Oh my god. Gilnar the Great, everybody's favorite Oblivion character. And only I know about him because I've never showed him in real life. Well, I mean. <laughs> there he is, that's Gilnar the Great. Here's another one. Um, DMCA, just close your ears for a second. Just don't, if you're listening DMCA, just don't, don't listen. <laughs> His smirk is so good. <laughs> uh, you can look these up yourself um, on Twitter. 
they're just in my um, oops media. That's Gilnar the Great, my Oblivion character. Yep, you spelled it right. Um, I designed a character. I think I had an orc, and I designed him all the way, and I was like, eh, I don't like this. So I hit next on the race button, and this is what appeared, and I was like, this is perfect. So that's that. Here we go. Let's divide by zero. And everybody loves elite. Divide by zero. Uh oh. I like how it goes completely silent. Only one more fail. In before elite fingies. I also like how each button gets pressed a different way. And here's this earth that I've seen a million times in complete condition. I couldn't resist. My goal with these things was to not ever put a person to it. Like it was me writing them, but I, when I was writing them, I told myself to never say I or me or anything. And then I forgot and I did it anyway. This part, again, I wasn't able to contact X-Core, but um, x Trollord let me use this song. And it fits equally good in my opinion. Got it. Oh, I'm missing two. I don't remember those are. Did old men die? No, he's fine. I wrote this song though. And I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I forgot to put this in my soundtrack playlist. I, when I was working on this game, it was during the summer. I was about to go on vacation. And I wanted to finish before I went on vacation. So I put in like three eight hour days in a row. And like one of those days was just that running animation. And I had to borrow a computer from the computer lab because my laptop wasn't powerful enough to render the whole game. So I needed to use the, the school computers that came with Flash and every, all the Adobe programs just so I could export the program or the game. I missed the paintings and the bios. I wasn't paying attention to the bios. Who did I miss? Johnny? No, oh, that guy. That's the only one. I can get him real quick. Sir. What was this guy's name? James Lancelot. I think it's funny when people um, message me on Twitter and they're like, they talk about a specific character by their name, and I'm like, I made that guy's name up on the spot. <laughs> I don't remember who James Lancelot is. I'm sorry. But it's fun that it created an expansive uh, world for people. Here's Mayor Fredrickson. Ooh, should I talk about that? All right, I'm gonna bring something up, but it's gonna make people sad because it's never gonna happen. When I was first concepting out the whole game, I was gonna have an Ellie storyline that ran alongside the Henry game. So uh, when Henry's in escaping the prison, there was a part where you got to play at what Ellie was doing for each of the games. And it was supposed to help um, make some stuff clear because at that point I had Ellie as being a member of the top bat clan. And so doing those games shows her like meeting in escaping the prison. She meets Reginald at that same prison and her and the right hand man break him out and then stealing the diamond. They're trying to steal this diamond 
but they're too late because it was already taken or something like that. I don't remember exactly how I had it planned. And so the mayor in that one was going to be like their inside man. He had like set it up so they could get in easily and take it. And then it gets a little more convoluted by infiltrating the airship, etc. But then once I started ironing out the story for completing the mission more, it just didn't make sense to make Ellie a member of the Top Bat clan. It was very confusing. And you had to like play through her storyline in order to understand it in the first place. So I just completely rewrote that. And also it would have made the game take another year at least to come out. So I just cut it completely and it will never happen. Never happen. I'm sorry. There were some good moments in there, but even if I did want to like go in and use those ideas, they don't actually work anymore because they all hinged on her being a member of the top at clan from the beginning. I'm not going to tell right hand man's real name. You'll never know. You'll never know. Um, so that's, that's, <laughs> that's the story about the mayor. Oh, the, um, that thing also fleshed out Terrence Suave, who you might recognize in the future as one of the previous leaders. And it talks about, it talked about how he used to be the leader and he was really incompetent. And so he gets overthrown by Reginald and the right hand man and Ellie too. I think I ended up kind of reusing a lot of that for Top at Civil War. It was very similar. <laughs> Jeff Stickley. <laughs> the only other character that has stick figure last name. Is, I don't remember why I thought of that. I was like, oh yeah, there's not very many stick figure characters named. Ted McAdams, he's back again. Jacob Rose, not related to Ellie Rose. They just have the last name similar. I already explained this earlier. Cliff Knox. I like calling Knuckles Knox. <laughs> we went from a detailed discussion about Ellie to Jeff Stickley. Sir Wilfred Four. Yeah. Conrad Connors. I like names that have alliteration. Conrad Connors and Billy Barnes are friends. I think Billy Barnes, isn't that the name of, um, oh no, it's Bucky Barnes. I think Two Left Thumbs did the same thing. It's very likely that I accidentally used the name of the R exists. Zach Nutt. And then Himbert Schult. Every once in a while for name coming up with generation stuff, I just type in some random thing that doesn't make any sense, like Himbert. Billy Club with a Billy Club. Sam Turner, a non-binary character. Richard Wilkins. Some of these characters don't have anything really. Todd Slimmons. He's a sleepy boy. Rupert Price. There is kind of an arc for him where he, every time he fails, he just gets more and more determined to do better. And so... That's why he ends up in the military. Johnny Panzer. There was some confusion on the um, on the wiki. Someone said that Johnny Panzer was uh, this guy or this guy, but no, he's this. He's the guy in the police car that gets hit in the face by a rock. Jack Sheen. Just a random helicopter person fact. And then we got Samuel Mundy from Team Fortress. Because I played the shit out of Team Fortress 2 back in the day. James Lancelot, that was his name. I remembered it. And he likes to uh, pull, pull out his Lancelot card at the uh, round table, whatever that restaurant's called. Someone's asking me about Cyberpunk 2077. I'm sorry, I don't actually follow anything that's going on there. <laughs> There's Dave, my man Dave. I, I wanted to get Dave to show up in 
fleeing the complex so bad it just didn't make any sense. I had to twist too much stuff to make it work. Kurt Dietrich. Joseph Joe. Jojo. A good show. I said it. I said it. Timothy Lewis. Oh, yeah. I think I did. Add, there was an actual... Oh, here's that flash error again, filling in the cap. There was an actual continuity error where I put Timothy Lewis, but it was the face of a different guy or something. I don't remember. I think I fixed it in infiltrating the airship. Alexander Garb. He's scared of birds. Oh, yeah. Also, this pterodactyl is voiced by me, too. Oh! Oh! <clears throat> Sorry. Can't just do it on the spot, you know. And then Tony France, another, there's two mafia guys. I don't know if they're the same person. I'll leave that up to speculation. Clyde Jenkins. I like the, I'm really happy with the Center for Chaos Containment. That's probably my favorite thing to come out of this whole series. Even more than the Top Bat Clan. I just think it's a really fun idea. And Corporal Bullet Bill. He's pretty lax, but not really. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll put on the Infiltrating the Airship menu song. I'm gonna grab a snack, use the restroom, and then we'll get into my favorite out of all the originals.
in the airship, right? Yeah. I'm back. Who was the police officer in the end of breaking the bank? I don't know. Dave. <sighs> My boy. Was the original loading screen ever planned to be in the remaster? No. It was one of the things that had to be cut because I didn't need loading screens. A lot of the title screens got changed too because of that. I miss having the trans transitions with the music for this scene, but I had to keep it consistent. This is like the only one that's animated too, I think. I think the complex I think has snow. Let's go. I kind of regret making the very first thing you see in this game his mushed face on the screen. I really like this song. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I thought I was going to have trouble making it as good as before. Ted McAdams. Several charges. Attempted robbery. And for those who don't know, this scene, it picks the, the last We've got quite scene a that you counsel. got the ending for, you this job right, I think. In the original, it was just random, because I can't know. You close to the airship. The rest there he is, Charlie. Is you. Find a way to bring him down, and you'll be I think hey, I had his name as Charlie, and then uh, as soon as I like got into it, I accidentally changed it to Charles. So I had to make it canon that the general always calls him Charlie. Do Charles, do Charles route last? I can do that. I always start with sticky hand. These toys were like my favorite thing to get from like Chuck E. Cheese. Zero point energy. I save the best inventions for myself. Ugh. That's uh, Incredibles. Pizza arcades and laser tag, exactly. Ball and chain. Hear something over there? Oh, I didn't get any water. Let's see. This helicopter is pretty baller, though. Another kind of not running joke so much, but running thing that I like is that I have what's his name now? He used to be DJ BJRA. I think oh, it starts with an E. Elation. I have his music in every single game. The teddy bear is from what top at? I don't know. It's in the safe. It's obviously important to someone. My goal with this ending was to actually fake people out and think that they won. I think I did that again in Fleeing the Complex. That's this path. I liked... Um, Here's another consistency thing that I do. I wanted the the path you take to make sense throughout the ship. So every location on the ship is like supposed to somewhat sense. There's some problems. I can get into those later. Um, I always do grapple gun last. I think usually I go earpiece, cannonball, grapple gun, but let's do cannonball. Have I ever thought of featuring Henry and Friday Night Funkin'? Hey, if they're interested. The this is Oldman, isn't it? Ah, yes. Let me have a look. It's weird seeing this now that I've been working on the airship map in Among Us. Oh, 
Old man's fine. See, he's grimacing. It takes muscles to grimace. I think this is my favorite remaster too. It just looks so much better. Although, hmm, stealing the diamond is a big upgrade too. Can we keep, can we make this a, um, a shipping free zone for the stream? You're free to ship on your own free time, but let's, um, let's keep the shipping to yourself. This was the fail I would always test um, fail screen stuff on. And then obviously, Newton's third law applies here. I see no flaw in that logic whatsoever. Cartoon logic. I like this one because you think you're about to like blast off. And then it goes pilot wing status and just like really slow. Logic only applies when it feels like it. Exactly. And then, oh, that's both of those. I didn't realize in how few scenes Right Hand Man was in in this game until I got to completing the mission. I like that this guy wears a top hat on top of his hard hat. I wrote that um, elevator song just to save on money, basically. No, I'm serious. Forgot. Smash. Oh yeah, this is the song by I9 Incher, who was very excited that I reached out to him. This is a Diddy Kong Racing boost. But you didn't let go of A. Whoa. That boing was a little bit lackluster. Hurry up now, activate the doors. Make the doors. I wish this scene didn't have to loop like this. You get it wrong, but there was no good place to really start the scene. I just started from here every time. Hurry up now! Activate the doors. All right, it's time for the Lego Warp. If you've ever played Lego Racers, if you get four boosts. Or I guess level four boost, it actually warps you forward. And it's really weird, but it works. Now get away. Hurry up now, activate the doors. I'm really sad I forgot to fill up on water. Metal fist. This one, I wanted him to turn into a rhino like in Donkey Kong Country. Then I realized that I couldn't draw a rhino, let alone animate one. So I changed it at the last minute. Activate the doors. Oh, and you can Hurry find now, this, the doors. him busting in there, the time lapse of it on YouTube on my YouTube channel. <laughs> this, that was a joke I came up with in high school. I remember telling my friend about it. I had an idea for a bunch of people are running a race, like on a, what are those called? Track, running a race on the track and they're all running and then suddenly a guy goes <laughs> and just flies by because he's farting. Everyone loves that. Robo pants. Oh shit, I forgot to click on Dave. Yeah. Bonk. This is from the wrong trousers, in case you're wondering. I really liked this one. In the original. I don't know why I don't like it as much in this one. 
Is Reginald Swedish? No. He's British. Why is Dave on the airship? Uh, who knows? Oh. Roll in. Nev got you. Yeah. yeah, Sven Svensson is Swedish. I I love the yo-yo scene. This stupid background effect took me like three hours. And this I had a Ocroid write a nice Final Fantasy version of battle music. Yeah. Out of all those options, you choose fight. How boring. I'm just glad I was able to make you watch it more than once. I went through and polished up these to really match the game too, like the sprites they use when they go up and stuff. I went through. I really like that too. I went through and looked at uh, Final Fantasy VI clips frame by frame to see how they pose and stuff. use magic. Oh wait, he is using reflect, not me. You are dead. Alright, this is my favorite scene in this game, I think. I just like this battle sprite. It looks so cool. Tried to make the sounds match as close as I could, but I couldn't quite get the death sound right. I got it as close as I could. My favorite one of these is um, Defend. Because he just keeps bashing into you, this one. But the sound, the difference in sound isn't quite as good, so I'm a little bit disappointed with that. This is how I do this scene, by the way. I uh, I do all the fails for both, and then I do one, and then I go back and do the other. I cleaned up this side move too. It was really messy before. And this background is just two movie clips that are the same, and I think they're going opposite directions, and one of them is like slightly transparent. Thanks for the kind words, Mokuzai X3. I appreciate it. Should I just drink tap water? I'm right back. <laughs> No boogie time, I'm too fast. Right hand man is Cockney. It's basically my impression of um, Jason Statham. I thought he was a cowboy. Someone in the wiki said he was Spanish. The way I did this, that transition effect, I just like drew a grid and then filled it in with the color that was the most prominent. And then I made a bigger grid on the next frame. But I had to watch a YouTube clip of that scene to see how they do it frame by frame. Cause it goes like in and out and yeah. I get it. 
I'll probably open that. And then tools is this is my favorite tool from uh, Final Fantasy VI. Chainsaw, brother. Boom! Saw is ready. And I kept my version of the Final Fantasy Victory song. Here. Sorry, I hope that's not too loud. Glider. This glider is supposed to be inspired by like Mario Party Four or something. That's why he has the letter on of his name on there. I think there's like a glider mini game in some Mario Party. Beef up. Low sodium. The sound effects here make this scene better. It used to be not that good. In my humble opinion, right hand man dead. Jet boots, three, 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 three. They're too heavy. Someone said they don't get the beef up quote. They think it would be better if it's C results four up to eight seconds. That's true. But also you're seeing your results in about eight seconds. It's not wrong. All right, let's go beat him up with the yo-yo. Good, multi-bottle rocket, let's go. You learn a lot going through other people's, other games' animations to see how they go frame by frame. Like, I always thought he goes transparent fade out, but he shines black or white and then black and then just disappears. That sounded weird. Here's the glider. The old jingle was from Pilot Wings, so I had to make my own version. And then this song is completely gone from Newgrounds, so I had to write my own version. And I forgot about bios. Right Left-hand man. man exist? I don't know. I surrender the airship to you. Frontward facing helicopter can't hurt you. It doesn't exist. Ugh. All right. This is worms. And they get a crit, but I didn't put the critical hit sound in or try to put the critical hit sound in, so it doesn't have as big of an impact. Out. At least there is a parachute in there this time. Okay, <laughs> I've been thinking about this. Butterfingers. 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 I didn't know you could keep doing it in this one. Nice. So, Butterfingers, the story. It's time to go back into Google Chrome. My boy. I really, I really want to watch the whole thing. Um, Revenge of the Mad Mad Man. My favorite YouTube poop of all time. It doesn't work that well on my stream though. This is my favorite YouTube poop of all time. It's by Deeper Cut, two T's. It's eight and a, almost nine minutes long. I won't watch the whole thing, all right? Unless people want to watch it like this, all tiny. This is your last chance, Peter. You're a nice guy. But you're just not a Deeper Cut. There's a very specific type of humor in uh, YouTube poops. 
He stole that guy's pizza! Alright, fuck it, we're watching the whole thing. Pizza time. Pizza time. Last chance. I'm gonna ruin it by quoting it right in front of the scenes that happen. Pizza time. That guy was in the Avatar live action movie. If you hate YouTube poops, you're gonna have a bad time for the next six minutes. <laughs> I don't know what it is about YouTube poops that I like so much, but they're just so good. Sad scientist goes berserk. We don't have squirrels? Dr. Octopus. That's crap. Dr. Octopus. Crap. Dr. Octopus. That's pretty good. Pretty good. But it's taken. It's taken. Wait, wait. I got it. Dr. Dr. Robotnik. I like it. Get out. Get out. <laughs> I still do that. Let's see. This? <laughs> I do that in person sometimes. Are you serious? This one and Lifu's Quest 4 are my two favorite YouTube poops. See a puppy rope. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not disappointed you by watching a YouTube poop on stream. Boy, that sure that boy is sure is a real hero. Ow. Ow. <laughs> they got Joel McHale in this movie too. Oh that boy of yours is a real hero. <laughs> I'm Batman. Getting on my nerves. Pizza time. Pizza time. I've seen this YouTube clip more than the movie. Showtime. Ow. Like I don't actually know what happens in the movie, but I know what happens in this. Get ready. Get ready. Oh, that's not it. It happens again. And then she gets scared by Transformer. Spoilers. Thank you. <laughs> You're getting on my nerves. Pizza time. There it is. I doubt anyone knew that. When they saw it in the game. <laughs> you stuck your cock in my ass for the last time. I have an act for that. Asshole! I love this woman. You're fired, Parker. Hello, you're fired. Why? I was thinking maybe the bugle could show another side. Maybe the bugle could show another You're fired. Maybe the bugle could show another You're fired. Fuck your Spider-Man. Crap. Fuck your Spider-Man crap. You're unfired. I need you. Come here. You're unfired. You two poop scare sweep city. Spider-Man won't let me take it. You two poop scare sweep city. Miss Brandt? Yes. Give me a violin. <laughs> Pop it. Get out. They don't stop what punching. Do hit after hit. Doctor Venus. Wait, wait. Squat o'clock. Squat o'clock. Like That's crap. Wait, wait. Airman. Airman. <laughs> I'm responsible. For what? For what There's so many quotes him. in this that I just always say. He shot him. Spider-Man triple action web blast. <laughs> Hello, Harry. Otto, what do you want? That precious tritium. <laughs> Kill Spider-Man. We'll give you all the tritium you need. Hurt Peter! Hurt Peter. Where is she? Let's talk. 
I think this scene also inspired the punch out reference in Clean Complex. I just like the punches with the 8 bit punches. Most ingenious! Most ingenious. <laughs> Spiders, punch them. Yeah, I hope people don't. People are joining now. This isn't the end of the stream. This is just uh, an explanation of a reference. It's a terrible pizza. It's a terrible pizza. Also, this is referenced again in completing the mission. I don't know what that quote is from. I'm gonna assume it's from the original cartoon. Pizza time. Looks like you're a born loser. My spider sense is tingling. I really like this part. I think it's a really funny, creative thing. Face. Boing. <laughs> Spider Man was a clown. Spider Man was a clown. You, get him, you gotta go through me. Very well. Very well. <laughs> Punch me, I bleed. Ow. Spiders. We're almost done. Shut it down, Ox. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Am I not supposed to have what I want? Oh, Mary Jane dies. Let's see you scurry out of this. Dark shark. <laughs> Peter Parker. Whoa. I'm choking. I'm choking. Drown it. <laughs> I will die. I will die. That quote right at the end is what I say every time I go off alone in Among Us. I will die. I should have asked Doc, Doc Ock to, to lend, lend me a hand. <laughs> All right. Now that I've cleared that up, I can get back to business. Butterfingers. All right. We want to side with the government or the top ads. Top ads. Oh, someone just asked what my inspiration for the top at clan was. I can get into that. You think they're all right? Maybe they fall. I'm sure. I Basically, when I uh, used to draw comics, what is it? just simple like black and white comics with stick figures. The bad guys were denoted by they were wearing top hats. And that just kind of carried forward. This sounds really good too. That's one. Vroom. The old design for Charles' headphones, yeah, they were horrible. Damn it, I missed him. Someone's asking about Henry plushies. I don't think they would look good. Henry's 2D. 2D into 3D usually doesn't look that good. Relentless bounty hunter. Says, yeah. I think it's supposed to be like no, no, but 
No. I'm a foreign Malaysia. Man, this cough. I can't remember if I was actually sick when I did that. We have to do that scene again for the bio of Two Ton Tony. We can do it later. Cool. I'm proud of just lol. Please make top hat mug. I want to. We've talked. We're talking about it. Apparently, it's a lot harder to make that type of mug than <coughs> a normal mug. This location looks so much better in this one too. Bomb from Bomberman 64. Because in that game, you can pick up a bomb, if you press A and B, and then if you mash A, you get it, make it bigger. And then when you throw it, and then it explodes in a big circle like a bomb Ray 64. Okay, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I earned a sub for that. Thanks. How to blocks. <clears throat> I think, I don't remember when I learned it, but at a certain point I learned that using reference photos is good and important. That's how I was able to like, if you draw something, like if you think to yourself, okay, I'm gonna draw a canister that expands foam. You draw it from memory and it looks like, thanks for the sub, Ollie. It looks like, uh, let me show you. Sorry, it's, I'm a little bit slow trans, transitioning between frames here. I'm gonna draw a, a spray can. It's like a circle and then um, it's got like this and it's like that. With a little spray like this and then, I don't know, the, it's got like a trigger right here. And it doesn't look good. But then you look up reference photos to make it look the way it should. Oh, I left YouTube open. Oh wait, there we go, I clicked the wrong one. And that's my rant about reference photos. I had to redraw the hand. I've never played Persona, so it's not gonna be a Persona reference. Wait, this is a reference to my old job. I used to work at a place where you count cars. <laughs> Can you get? Um, they would film intersections on like cassette tapes and then give them to you and you just fast forward through and you count it. And times four speed was the speed you'd go when you were good. Like me. Notice how awkward he looks when he steps in there. Any type of small motion, especially with the feet, is extremely annoying to animate and I'm very lazy. Does it ever hit the corner? No, in Among Us it does. I almost added an achievement for this. But I forgot. Why is Henry so dumb? Because dumb equals funny. I'm really proud of how the mouse mo motions turned out in this. Like the way he shakes his mouse to wake up the computer. And then stick home instead of stock home. Grade A, he's playing as Sweden by the way. I did make that song, yeah, both of them. They're only like five seconds long, so it wasn't too hard. My headphones are making beeping sounds. Oh, guys, Henry's, <laughs> I can't even start telling this lame joke. Uh, Henry's pretty sus. I, I saw him vent. <laughs> That was base boosted Seinfeld reference in case uh, you were wondering. One of my goals with this game was to have multiple locations 
be visited um, from different paths or the same location visited from different paths. So having you be on opposite sides, I just hand gestured, you can't see that. Having him be on opposite sides of this room, I thought was really fun. And then you get the magic pencil. But what was he drawing there though? He was drawing a spring trampoline thing, like from like a diving board almost. That's what he was drawing. And yet he drew a nutshot crawler. Someone asked why Henry, why Thomas supports Henry even though he gets hit by a plastic ball. Because he, Thomas respects the order, or the, the, how do I phrase this? He respects the way the Top Hat Clan operates, and since Henry came in and he earned his way as leader, he respects that. And afterwards, he learns that Henry's leadership style really fits with him. You guys are, I just realized that my mouse is showing. You guys are seeing my, like, weird habit I do where I make tildes everywhere, or, um, what are they called? Brackets. Can I give you the F flash files to make rips? No, <laughs> I will never do that. <laughs> nice try, though. Stretch Chewies. Raffle. I don't know. Falls flat a little bit. Teleport again. He's starting to get sick of it. Notice how he glances at the camera like, you make me do this again. gets to hang out with Squidward. Are Wilson Stone and Heath Stone related? No. I don't know. It's possible to have the same last name as someone and not be directly related to them. I wanted this one to make more sense. I thought about like doing some sort of time slowdown and then zooming out and seeing the airship move. Because the idea is he jumps in the air and then the airship moves around him, basically. It's like a weird relativity thing. Like he jumps up and then the airship slams on the brakes for a second and he goes flying into the wall. But it's really hard to make that clear when you're inside. This is the brig. Think you could let me out of here? I have no idea where this keyhole is, by the way. Oh, thank you. I think it's like in here. Hmm. But you don't see it. Wizard magic. One problem that I have with the layout of um a lot of the rooms in this game. You're like right next to the edge of the hall because like here you can see out the window and like here you're right next to an exit. Here you're next to a window. But then like this, the engine room and the hallways should be more in the center, but you're always just running on the same axis. So that's one of the weird little inconsistencies that didn't quite wasn't quite able to fix. Can I make an open world Henry Stickman game that's based off of Fallout? No, I'd rather do something else. Stick figures don't translate into 3D. Like, I'd rather just make a new character. How long did it take to design the airship on the outside? I have a, there's a time lapse on my YouTube channel that shows me drawing the the airship. I kind of stole all well, stole. I, I took the idea of the design from my old comics, but it never actually made it into the comics. Why was Dave kidnapped by the top hats? I don't know. They never say. Retro glove. <laughs> this scene loses some uh, humor if Dave doesn't laugh at you. It's not quite as good. This scene is good though. <laughs> with the new sound effects and then all the puns and the horribly glitchy air horn that 
happen accidentally. Wizard magic. Uh, roll to one, D and D reference. I feel like I had something about this, but I don't remember. Paperizer. This one's kind of funny because he's already a stick figure, and then it turns him into an even flatter, uglier stick figure. That's black and white, and he slides under the door. Give me that flash drive. There's the scout face from all the YouTube thumbnails. We've got Mona Lisa, Long Cat, American Gothic, Final Destination. Um, I think this is just like two colors because I didn't want to draw it. And then the gyroids from Animal Crossing. This one is a specifically a decoid, the first gyroid I ever got. I'm not going to click on a link for a 3D Henry right now. There's the golden gun. This is the 1811, no, it was 1887 shotgun from Modern Warfare 2. Oops. And then the energy sword, Viking hat, golden hat, giant Mario coin, stout shako for two refined. And stout shako. And then the purple jacket from PUBG, I think, or some, some battle royale one. Yeah, and then a pile of gold, not sand. And then the Banjo Kazooie backpack. I was surprised it took this long for me to make a Banjo Kazooie reference, considering it was one of my favorite games growing up. This this is my least favorite fail in any Henry game. I don't know. It just doesn't do anything for me. You can barely tell what happens because it's a red ruby on the red airship and it's so small. But I didn't want to draw another angle of it shooting out the side. Maybe if I had drawn... Maybe if I had taken the angle when you're standing on the wing. But even that I don't think works. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like it. That's my least favorite one. I do not play Fallout 76. We're going to see the old top at leaders here. Prince Suave, Sir Wilfred, four. Hey, yeah. Jeffrey, Stop right there. What's this guy's name? Billy G. Up. Looks like he's got some sort of alarm in the vault. What? He's going rogue? All right, move to plan B. He's going rogue. Yeah, this is Jeffrey. Uh, I got him right here, so you guys don't a lot of the subtitles have a few minor issues in them because at this point I think Forte was writing them so I could focus on making the game. Jeffrey's name is spelled with a G. I can, I'll talk about the past top at leaders once we get to the bios. I really like this one. I don't know why. I just like the sound. That sound is one of my favorite sounds that exists in the world. Dump. And I was finally able to create my own version of it. I used to use the one from the Team Fortress uh, Beggar's Bazooka when you load it. Time to fly away and explode. I was too lazy to frame by frame the smoke, so I shape tweened it. Tell you what. And then this is almost a breaking the bank style fail where you know exactly what's going to happen. But it's still pretty good. Am I working on anything, any other games besides Among Us? No, right now Among Us is taking up all the free time that I have. I mean, I'm on holiday now, but still. I was really proud of this scene when I first animated it. Because it was a non-stick figure that was animated and moving and stuff. Oh shit, I gotta pay attention to the bios. And this, I don't know, I just really like the way this that scene plays out. And the airship just crashing in, it's so epic. Yeah, man, let's go. Come on, man. 
I missed Pike Man. It's Wilson. I made this alarm sound in FL Studio. I don't remember how, but I did. Gotta get the code. One, two, one, four. The date that I joined Newgrounds. 2007. I'll do the bios after I'm done with everything. Odin Gaben. Every time I make a game, I want to trick people into thinking it's crashed. That's just, I don't know why. The airship is so delicate. Game crash. Game crashed. No, didn't. This one didn't seem to trick anyone though. At least when I watched playthroughs, no one thought it actually crashed. Made me sad, because this one was better executed than the uh, the stealing the diamond one. <laughs> Half-Life 3 not found. Laser cut, Mark II. I like that this game came out before Avengers uh, Robot Assassin, whatever that one was called. But when I saw that scene um, in Avengers, when they launched the entire city into the sky, I was just like, <sighs> it's like the C uh, the, the gif of, um, the gif of Titanic dude pointing at the TV. That was me. I was like, oh, that's what I wanted it to look like. Yeah, Patrick Star reference too. DEB, Dark Energy Blaster. This Dark Energy Bomb. I didn't want to draw another angle of it, so I had it just activate. Got him already. I don't want to be that type of person, but I thought up this type of an idea before Super Smash Bros. Brawl came out. And then they did it with their subspace bombs, and I was like, oh, that's exactly like that thing that I thought would be cool. When I create a new game, will I put Henry Stickman references in it? Yes. This one is sad, and I'm... It goes, it, it, it ties into the, uh, the Charles scene, too. I like when a game or a thing that's usually comedic actually becomes serious. And I like testing myself to prove that I can do something different too. Just slices through it. They're just standing there. These guys got Annihilated. There he is. He's got the ruby. He's got the ruby. Yeah, forget about it. We've got to retreat, or else the topic clan will be history. They give up. They have to protect themselves rather than get their one ruby. And this guy takes a piss on a rock. And there's a lawnmower sound there for <laughs> taking off because I didn't have a good one. Ow, my ears. What is Ken? And this scene, I had to add. It was the end right what? here when he said let him go, yeah, but I added this He's not worth the just to make sure it was extra clear. Because otherwise it felt very abrupt. They were just like, eh, just let him go, and it felt weird. I, after letting people play test it, that's the feedback that I got, and it was actually pretty helpful. How come you don't see that jetpack suit in CTM? I should have brought it back. I forgot about it. There was way too much to keep track of for completing the mission. I'll get into that when I do that stream. There was so much consistency. Check, check. This is Charles. Just thought I'd uh, give you a heads up. Uh, there's a guy down there. A bad guy. So, uh, yeah. Good luck. Good luck. That is the line I say when I need to get into Charles' voice. Check, check, this is Charles. Just thought I'd uh, give you a heads up. Uh, I was just thinking about something, but I lost my train of thought. Oh, 
Oh yeah, the um, attachment. The air p earpiece sound. I'll go back to it. I re... re uh, it sounds like the Star Fox sound, but I made it myself. It was really hard. But I'm really happy with how that turned out. Fire in the hole! You know when they blow stuff up and say, take cover? That's why. Acid. I liked this one a lot. I just feel like his reaction isn't quite that good. Vacuum. So this first one is the hatch. The second one is Hatch Man himself. Hey, good job there. Oh, uh, so we should probably look for something incriminating. Nice pun. Something we can use to prove that they're criminals, you know? I mean, the whole point of this operation. Anytime I repeat an unimportant question, your brain cells die. Sorry, I only look at the chat every once in a while. I almost redesign this character because I tried to do an Australian accent and I think I failed pretty badly and I almost went through and redid it but it wasn't worth it the time it was near the end and I was like ah eh, right it's so fine if we go up to three caliber hey you there what do you think you're doing it's Smith right this guy's on his phone what are you doing here mate and then the guy Why freaks out and he's like oh Take ah, the his eye. He'll take you right to the hospital. That's a mistake. Go ahead. All right, Don't here's worry. Smith. I'll tell you, Chief. Another running joke. Congratulations, Happy Father's Day. I think the joke behind Smith is that Smith is a common name, and a lot of the stick figures look very similar. So it's very easy to mistake someone for Smith. I also really like this one. His head wasn't even connected to his body right there. You went to the first dimension. You can only go left or right. Those beans. Don't get any ideas. And I know that there's he climbs up and the door's there. You just gotta like use your imagination that he goes around a little bit. I know I'm contradicting myself by saying that not all stick figures look the same. I also added this so you can to really make sure that you understand that someone's coming through a door. This one's my favorite, I'll save it. Let me just okay, help yeah, you get across just, that gap. Uh, teleport this thing in here for you. Yeah. I had Charles's voice be as close to mine as possible because I knew he was gonna have a lot of dialogue and I needed to make sure that I could consistently do his voice. <clears throat> the problem, I don't remember if I re-recorded any in this game, but I didn't have the same I didn't have the same filters that I had in the original. So if I had to re, I think I had to redo them all. All right, everyone's ready for the best part of the whole game. All right, here I come. Da, 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 da. <laughs> there it is, the greatest plan. I think I just like ad-libbed the fanfare too. A lot of Charles's lines are ad-libbed, or not ad-libbed, but like, actually that's how I do all of my voice acting. I just get the general idea and then I say it. But Charles can like stutter and, you know, like forget words. It's part of his character. This one's my favorite. Yeah, I have this thing here that can manipulate Even gravity. more so now with the new edit. Get you to float across. Let me just See, because he's got these things that can manipulate gravity, but they only say up and down. They work. And then he gets he gets um, 
source engined into the ground and his limbs are just like <laughs> but yeah does up increase the gr number of gravity like 2x 3x or does up move you upwards really makes you think also i really I've, i wanted to do that source clipping through the ground thing before we got robo robo tails yeah the sound effects make it into a new <laughs> a new tier and i put that little engine exploding sound to make you think you're about to lose this guy's an underdog to me his name Wilhelm. he has the german accent I also flipped wow. this to have it make a little more on. sense. I can't believe he does not open a door. Spatially. I think... Whoops. In my mind, I try to keep... Sorry, I got the hiccups. I try to keep scenes very left-right... Continuous. So, like, in this path... Here, I'll, I'll open the map and kind of show it. This path that we're doing... Well, I guess it's not that true here, but... Starting from here, you're always going left to right. In this one, you're going left to right the whole the whole time. This one, you're going right to left. And it makes sense when you get to the gap, you're going the opposite direction. And I tried to do that for every every game. That's why I flipped the um in stealing the diamond, I flipped that last scene when you go outside the back door just to keep that kind of stuff uh, consistent. Why does this guy revive in Valiant Hero? <clears throat> I mean, who's to say he's dead? Maybe he just, maybe his bones grow back to normal. All right, uh, this one I had to change I because I changed the way this room looks. I should have given him a falling through the tube sound. What was the inspiration for Greatest Plan? I don't know. Crash into the thing. Funny. Don't be such a baby. Ribs grow back. Exactly. Although I don't think they do. All right. Get to bring, bring out the big, big guns. guns. Should be good to go now. Yeah, should be good to go now. They all died. Huh? He just turns into a puddle. He's fine. Oh man, I remember, I remember this. this. Good thing nobody, nobody knows, knows about this, this or we'd be in a lot of trouble. trouble. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man, that duck just flew right into the propeller. Oh, what a mess. So in this game, I made this joke that he can hear Charles through Henry's headset because it's loud. But then in completing the mission. Uh, when he's in that hall of portraits, the same thing happens, and the other guys don't hear him. Uh, consistency. Oh, yeah, I gotta do Mulan. Oh man, I remember this. Thing nobody knows about this, or we'd be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> M U L. It was fortunate that. All these letters exist in this voice line. Oh man, I remember this. Meet the bold action man. Falcon. Drawing fire is one of my least favorite things. I don't I still don't think I can do it very good. Oh man, I remember this. Um fun fact about this thing, he was supposed to actually get scared by the spider. But when I drew it uh, over his head like uh, this, I was like, oh, he's got to bash him on the head at this point. All right, and it turned out really oh, good. Wait, wait. There's no way you're getting through there. Lots of guys. There's, there's a bug here guys. that I don't know if we ever fixed. I hope I don't run into it because I'll have to restart the game. If you go through that air duct. The comedic timing is so good. Yeah, I agree. Right, there's a bug here where the ambient noise never stops. And we couldn't figure out how to trigger it. I, I don't understand what that means. Vent sus. 
when the imposter is sus. Okay. Shutting down the power now. I watched this scene so many times to try and figure out this bug that it's not funny to me anymore, even though I used to like it a lot. I don't hear it, so that's a good sign. When the imposter says, I'll be right back, I gotta use the restroom again. Stop the boogie. I caught you guys. Ah, uh, what was I thinking? I was thinking about something. Oh yeah. Completing the mission is as long as all the other games combined. Almost. Or is it? I don't remember exactly. But that's insane. I don't think I'm going to get to completing the mission today. As I expected. Alright, I've hacked into their power grid. Alright, I've hacked into their power grid. What do you want me to do? That's is a Mass Effect reference, by the way. Never played Mass Effect 3. Also, I had to have the file burn up because I forgot he was supposed to hold it. So when he right. <laughs> runs through there and gets electrocuted, I didn't want to deal with it. Still only on ITA. Yeah, we took a little break uh, watching some YouTube poop. Alright, I've hacked into their power grid. What do you want me to do? This is another... I like dumb jokes, honestly. This is another dumb joke. This guy's making photos, and then the light turns on really bright, and all his photos get ruined. <laughs> I think some people think he gets, like, fried, which, that's a funny joke, too. So if you don't know about dark rooms and photos... Also, I don't think I ever told my friend this. I think he's still in the chat. Um, that guy on the walkie-talkies. Maybe we'll get to it. that in the bios. Is inspired by, those two guys are inspired by two of my friends. Fire in the hole. I kept forgetting about the stupid file he was supposed to hold. This is another one of my favorite fails. And then you hear him get shot. And that bug is still there. That's annoying. Banana bomb from worms. My favorite weapon in worms. Man, one time I was playing against my cousin. Uh, growing up, he loved worms and I went to visit uh, Sweden where he lives. And he kept wanting to play worms and I kept beating him over and over. And there was one game that was really close and he had dug a little blowhole trench on the other side of the map, and I threw a banana bomb, and it went directly in the hole. And he rage quit. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to play anymore. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, banana. I like this top hat N64 logo. Force gun. I had to add a scene here too because it was very unclear what happened. What's going? I had to show him running and jumping off because people thought he got shot and got knocked into the helicopter. And then I had to rewrite this song, and I just used the pilot wing song that I wrote because I didn't, I couldn't come up with a good song. Last time you played Worms, you started yelling at an 11-year-old. Nice. I missed some of the bios, but we'll go through them here. Henry, I like the card backs change for each game. Captain Gale Force. People call them Captain G. I think I originally the G was supposed to stand for general, but then I called him Captain, so I instantly blew that. So I had to give him a G name. Charles Calvin. His last name. I don't even remember where it came from. In the, in the Discord, I think someone posted a fanfic and they called Charles Charles Calvin. And I was like, you know what? That's going to be his last name. I think it's funny. Also, it's the name of the character in Santa Claus. Charlie Calvin. Which I didn't realize until last year. <laughs> then we got Rupert Price. No speaking lines. Reginald Copperbottom. I like his last name a lot. He was... I... I made sure that his um, his top teeth show when he talks to make him slightly different. Right hand man, my favorite character. Jeffrey, my second favorite top hat character. Yeah, this is Jeffrey. I got him right here, so you guys don't need to worry. Yeah, I wish I had remembered Rupert that much. Rodney Copperbottom. Sledge McRush, his name slightly inspired by Rainbow Six. Hans Spearman, I feel like he should have had a bigger role. We got Hatchman, well he was the Hatchman. That's what I should have put for his uh, card text. Well he was the Hatchman from the state of Tennessee. Then we got Slice. Australian dude. Winston Davis confirmed. There's, I, I'll address it now, I guess. Um, people say, why does he join the top hats if, for example, the legal path never happens? I think in game canon, there's an investigation no matter what. And he just like has to skip town. Then we got Magnus Eriksson, very Swedish name. Magnus Eriksson. This guy, I don't know if many people picked up on it. Floyd Winters is a reference to Dumb and Dumber, my favorite movie. That's why he's got the orange top hat. And then Derbert Daniels. He's playing the new hot new mobile game between us two. People in the chat were talking about this earlier. And then we got Douglas Merle and Wilhelm Krieghaus, which means warhouse in German. And then Handsome Harold. I don't know if this is intentionally a reference to um, Screw Attack, but I kind of feel like it is at this point. I don't remember his name. What was that guy's name? Handsome Dan or something. I don't know if people remember. Handsome Tom, was that it? <laughs> There's two of them. There's Handsome Tom and someone Dan, right? Al Kohal. The photographer man. Oh, this guy, Matthew Norbert, is based on one of my friends. I don't know why, I just think he kind of looks the same. Stuttering Craig, that's what it was. 
And then this guy is based on my other friend, but not because of physically, because of the way he talks. He goes, hey, what are you doing? And the, um, the text here is a call out on him as well. And then we got Thomas Chestershire. This guy was an underdog favorite for me. I just liked that he had two monocles. I thought it was hilarious. And I don't think anyone else really thought it was hilarious. But I'm glad that completing the mission gave him some time in the spotlight. And then Oldman. I also, when I was writing these bios, I started to develop a a canon for the top at naming convention where they just like, they, they get nicknames, half of them. <clears throat> and this guy became old man, even though he didn't want to be like, people just thought he looked old. So his name became old man. Someone asked about the inspiration for the wall. I can talk about that once we get to fleeing the complex. Some of the bios in CTM were hard to get. I mean, that's kind of how it goes. I don't think I intentionally did it. I just had the characters be there and that's how it went. He's invented four tricks you can only do with a crane. I forgot what I wrote for half of these. Cool Katie. She named herself. Tutan Tony. Here's the other Tony guy. And then we got Cup of Joe. This guy used to be named something else and I was like, why would I not name him Cup of Joe? And I changed it. I think I moved his name to someone else. Terence Suave. All right. I have not seen anyone mention this. Terence Suave's name is a reference to Master of Disguise. One of his disguised outfits is a character called Suave, Terry Suave. Hot one, hot two, I need a Charleston chew. Get it, got it, dumped it. Doodle. And no one ever, I thought everyone would pick up on that, but... No one, no one did. So yeah, my, the headcanon for Terrence Suave is that he was overthrown because he made them do like horrible raids that didn't make any sense that were extremely risky because they were really flashy. And so the, uh, the top hat clan Reginald and right hand man decided like, this is, this guy's going to lead us to hell. We got to, Abandon ship and get rid of this guy. Not abandon ship, but kick this guy out. Someone subbed. Ethereal curse, thanks. <laughs> he sucked, basically, yeah. And then Sir Wilfred Four probably came from a line of top at leaders. And I like to think that he was one of their best leaders. <laughs> Billy G. I don't really know anything about this guy. I know even less about this guy. I have no idea. This is some weird robot, resurrected, horrible, gross monster. Uh, Jerk Trooper said Cup of Joe was from SCP. I don't know anything about SCP. Holy moly. A lot of bits coming in. Thanks. And then we got Jarsh Finks. <laughs> so when I worked at that car counting place, there was an incident, not incident. Um, there was a person that applied to work with us. His name was Josh or Jacob or something. I think I don't remember exactly, but over the phone, our manager thought his name was Josh. So that's where that name comes from. Oh, I gotta get this guy and pipe pipe face, whatever his name is. Harry butts. Can't go wrong with Harry butts. Round a pound up. These are like the bottom of the barrel. I was running out of names. Mac Damper, Flex Hamley, because he's like buff and likes to work out and stuff. Nerto Kage, he's Naruto running, get it? Who's this? Joe Hunter. For a lot of the government people, I just tried to pick generic like army dude names. And then we got Ryu. Ryu. And Kent. And I gave them like a weird backstory of like he joined the top bats and now Kent 
is here to bring it to justice. I've never played Street Fighter. I don't know the actual story behind Street Fighter. And then Team Fortress Sniper's back. Someone, I think it was Two Left Thumbs, commented that I spelled Jock wrong. I didn't know. <laughs> My bad. Nice thing about names is I don't think you can necessarily spell them wrong. Jock Letish. I didn't get the guy smashed by the hammer. Sammy Sorry. And Quick Draw. He's He can shoot fast, but not accurate. And then Goo Guy. I was worried about this name because Goo, but it didn't seem too bad. I didn't get much blowback from it. Wilson Stone, my favorite CCC employee. Larry Gordon. Just These just sound like very good Center for Chaos Containment names. And then Abigail Stone and their son, Timmy Stone, not Henry. There was a <laughs> conspiracy on the Henry wiki that Timmy Stone, or this guy, was Henry, and Wilson was Henry's dad. I don't know how people come up with this kind of stuff. Someone asked, I shared a voice recording of Arnold, or Arnold. Do I have any more recordings like that? I do have one, actually, that I was going to upload a while back, but I didn't quite finish it. <laughs> um, so I'll probably put that on YouTube eventually. And then we got Mert Steele and his brother, Kurt Steele. And then Mordecai Booker. I haven't, I don't know regular show, but I know one of the characters' name is Mordecai. And then Dave. Dave is at the end because I forgot to put him in, into the bios. Oopsie. <sighs> All right, what do you guys think? Should I go get these bios or should I move on to fleeing the complex? Get the bios, get the bios, move on, bios, move on. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll move on to the bios, or the fleeing the complex. Is there going to be more? Why is this part one? Yeah, because I've been streaming for, what does it say? Three hours, and I just now made it to fleeing the complex. There's no snow, okay. So I don't think I'll have time to get through all of completing the mission today. So I think I'll probably stop right before completing the mission. And maybe I'll do that one tomorrow. I think I can do that. Um, somebody asked what the inspiration for the wall was. I've told this story before. The I think two left thumbs covered it. The original setting for this base used to be in a jungle. But then I didn't want to draw trees. I didn't know how to draw trees. So I moved it to this like winter location and then I added this cliff side here. Thanks, thanks bug being insect for the kind words. FTC is where the game got real for you, Sonic. That's cool. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of behind the scenes between like, Hello, Henry. airship, fleeing the complex, to the completing world. the mission, like ideas getting moved Some around and reused and stuff. Criminals are kept here. And now we have the infamous Henry Stick. You're going to be here for a long time. Grigori, take him. I don't know why I gave everyone Russian accents and stuff, but... Found. It just kind of fit, you know? Snowy area. My rendition of Troika. Yeah, I'm happy with the two. Play dead. Always got to do play dead first. Is Grigori... Yeah. Oh yeah, and I uh, translated what this guy said for subtitles only. I think I talked through a sweater into the microphone and then I compressed the shit out of it. And that's me, that's what I was doing there. 
I don't have any, I don't have any computer evidence. I have a lot of notes in my notebook. I don't know the best way to show that kind of stuff. Ellie was originally a character with a Fu Manchu mustache. And uh, that was the character that accompanied you throughout. But then pretty early I was like, you know, I should make a female character. I haven't done that yet. The, mo I mean, yeah, the main reason I didn't do one is because I can't voice them. Then I was able to find a voice actress. And it worked out nicely. Everyone loves Ellie. Um, the original story for Fleeing the Complex, I talked about this somewhere too. It took place in like Germany, I think. It was like a German castle and you get locked up for some reason. So it starts really similarly. You're here with Fu Manchu guy, but you're inside of a pit in the ground. And then when you boost up, it follows this exact <clears throat> like layout. You boost up and you end up behind the two guards. And like the first three areas were all the same, but then it kind of branches off into different places. Oh yeah, and someone asked why the government, if the government parted him, why would he be at the wall? Because the government doesn't run this private military, or this private prison. This, the wall collects notorious criminals. It doesn't matter if they're pardoned, they don't care. They just want to, like, he still committed the crimes in their eyes. They're not affiliated with the government at all. Dang, I haven't talked this long in a long time. He has only like 10 health left. And, and he, he plays, plays the, the gates, gates are open. open. And I'm like, look at how much I care. I don't care. I was playing a lot of Hearthstone at the time, all right? <laughs> I almost forgot to remove the original version of the song from the game. That scene was one of the scenes where I wanted so badly to make the left-right thing match because it flips. But it just didn't, I couldn't do it. FTC, the game where the heads got big. Yeah, I'm all over the place with design. I ended up buffing up my guys and doing... <laughs> There's another the thing I'll point out. Uh, yeah, I think so. In relation what to the voices to later. someone tries to escape again? <laughs> Uh, How did he grab the pipe if his hands oh, yes, were covered? He didn't okay. grab the pipe. It w went around his wrists. Or his, the pipe went through. I can go back and show you. Oops. See, there's a gap right here. <laughs> and the pi pipe opens up. So it goes around. He doesn't actually grab it. Are the wall good or bad? It's hard to tell. It is hard to tell. Depends on your perspective. From my perspective, the Jedi are evil! I ended up buffing up my- This scene was really fun to like... Mimic. Guys, I'm doing like 70 damage. Two toes! Two toes! Bald! 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 Why was Ellie captured? Nobody knows. This was another one where I had to go through frame by frame and see how Skyrim's menus looked and stuff. Oh yeah, there's a Tetris block back here. Not very many comments on it. I had to tie a rock to the whoopee cushion so it actually goes oh, off. Come on. Are you serious? Another what fart sound you? for all the you good people. Are? Don't you accuse me. Come on, just admit it. It wasn't me. Someone asked if the scrapped side story would explain why Ellie was in the wall. I think it did. I think the way it was in that story, she escapes from the airship. The idea... Okay, I remember a little more of it. Infiltrating the airships, Ellie's version of it is her and Reginald and right-hand man um, performing a coup against... Uh, what's his name? Terrence Suave. But then Ellie has to do kind of sacrifice herself in order to get him off the ship. So her and Terry go into an escape pod and Reginald kind of like 
abandons her almost. He's like, since he becomes the leader, he doesn't care if she gets sacrificed. So they get launched into the snow and then she gets found by the wall and gets put into the wall. That was the, uh, that was the story there. You mean that's not really you farting? No, I wish. Long shot from Ocarina of Time. I think this could have used some whooshing sounds. Bonk. I like putting colors to, oh, I missed that guy. I like putting colors to denote like what floor or area you're on. So he like goes over this security room and goes into a different wing. Bonk. Bling. That spring sound is really hard to like mimic, by the way. If CCC had an episode, how would it be? Uh, I don't know. I don't think they really fit as a centerpiece of an episode. Who is Terry? Wait, then why doesn't this goofy god? I you might have missed um, their original part of the story. It was a scrapped storyline and that's part of the reason why it was scrapped is because I couldn't make completing the mission make sense with her and Henry fighting the top bats and like you had to make sure that she players were aware that she used to be part of their them stuff. It was just extremely messy so I cut cut the story completely and rewrote it. How did Henry get captures? Who cares? He got captured. It doesn't really matter. I think I had that in the intro and I was like, you don't need to see it. It's irrelevant and it takes up time and I don't want to do it. Do I support two left thumbs theory on Ellie? Mm, I don't. I think he's giving me more credit than I deserve. Bunje. This was one of my favorites in this one. Did you just bungee jump with a plain rope? Todd Tater's bio was written by Forte. That's a fun fact. Oh yeah, this song I uh, arranged myself by ear. Give me floors there. Boys, lunch is on me. Flight of the Mag... No, wait. The Thieving Magpie. Balloon. I like how people's initial instinct is, no, there's no helium, this wouldn't work. And then they realize most of the time, oh, it filled up the entire corridor. That's why it worked. Oh yeah, I need to stick the landing. I forgot about that. Someone asked what made me create the distraction dance. The dance itself was based on a thing I would do when I played ping pong with my roommates to it like, annoyed them really hard, so I thought it was funny. This fail text here, I don't really like. It is, I, I wanted this to be in the game, but I couldn't figure out where to put it, so I decided I'll put it for a fail that I can't think of anything. But it doesn't make sense. There's another fatty joke. I think I started doing fatty jokes from... from on. Fatso. I wanted that to be a fake out where you like, Oh no, he's about to fall. Oh no, he didn't fall. And then he does fall. Pulled it off all right. <clears throat> Danger. Who knows what's down there? And he just swims across the air. Nailed it. Damn it, missed them. Box. This, this, the box and Five Nights at Freddy's are the only two references I did to a game I hadn't played. Huh? Just a box. So I had to 
look up how it works in the game and usually that that's not as good. Usually the best references come from like um a lot of experience with whatever their game is. In between this game, actually during completing the mission, I played all of the Metal Gear Solid games, except for Revengeance. And you can tell because the Metal Gear Solid references go up like fivefold. And now he's stuck underneath this box while they're playing poker. And this guy's doing a slav squat. And I hate the way I whistle to this song. I have not played Five Nights still. I don't think I would like it. It doesn't seem like my type of game. It doesn't mean I don't respect it as a game. I just, I'm not really interested. Wait. I like this joke too. If you're a shadow and you get absorbed by shadow, what happens? The whistling is not perfect. The game was not gonna have any more factions than the ones we've got. Metal Gear X Fortnite. These sound effects were really hard to replicate too. There's Gary Mann in the background. Reference works on so many levels. It's awesome. And here we go, Kerbal Space Program. I got super into it for like a month and then it was too hard. But everyone who's played Kerbal Space Program has made that mistake before. Do I know Ed's world or Oni NG? Yeah. I never met Ed, but he was a big inspiration. He reviewed my Star Fox animation on uh, Newgrounds and it made my day. Goofy God is asking about Jacob Rose again. Or I don't know if he specifically asked before, but I answered already. Here I, I did another fake out ending that I like to do. And you might recognize that sound. Fun fact here, I wrote that the Among Us Kill It uh, sound. I don't. I I wrote it for this, and then I used it in Among Us, and now it's like backwards. This used to be some super low quality like dirt bike sound that I've had for twenty years or something. And I re-picked re it. Someone, Someone just, just leave. leave. I think it was Smith. Oh yeah, probably off to see his family. Yeah. Mm. Ghost inmate. Picking the font for the endings is really hard. Is this the same Smith? I don't know, is it? <laughs> One out of five endings I got. Let me just stick the landing real quick. Just to get that out of the way. I don't really need to. Nailed it. I used to make fun of people on Reddit that kept saying like, nailed it. And then I just started saying it on my own. And I'm now I, that's something that I say in my vocabulary. Nailed it. You guys want to do the Ellie one last then? Everyone loves Charles in the last one, so we'll do the Ellie one last in this one. Why did Smith leave the top at? Who said he left the top at? Let's do charge tackle. Oh no no! See, and this is like, I don't remember what gun this is. It's some Russian gun. All the wall people have Russian guns. Oh wait, that's the correct choice. Oops. We've got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. So this, I took German in high school. And so I had him say random German words. I, he says, why is the, the horse so small or too small? Why is the horse too small? And then what? No stomach. That's why he says, I don't know what this, if this guy knows what he's saying. 
because I like saying gibberish stuff in different languages. I did the same thing with the um, the Japanese and uh, the JoJo scene in completing mission. And hide. I think a reference that I, I guess I did make it. I wanted to do, I wanted him to hide in a, ba a bale of hay, like in Assassin's Creed. But then I just didn't really like it. So I changed it before. Sonic. I One of the plans I had for this was he was going to go up the wall and blast off into outer space because he was going so fast. Ich finde sein Deutsch ja gut. Mein Deutsch ist sehr schlecht. Oh, shit. I forgot. If I were to make another Henry game, what would it be about? A naughty. I don't even want to think about it. I like this one too. SV cheats, no clip. And then he gets banned. I wanted to redraw this in Photoshop, but I ran out of time and I was like, this is good enough. Because I really wanted to mimic the style that Team Fortress and Counter Strike have. Cheaters never prosper. Oh, that one glitches sometimes. Can you even shot web? That's another reference to um, the laser collection, but people think it's a typo. How do I shot web? Oh my God, it's Alfred Molina. I, I like this concept too. He turns into a ghost. He turns invisible and walks past them, just like in Mario Kart. Uh, oh, sir, sir, I got a message. message. This background like changed the most, I think, in this game. And this is calling out all the people who spell his name wrong. Henry Stickman. It's not it. If you do, if you say it wrong, you lose five rep points in my vocabulary of nonsense. And this was, I wish that I had a third, I never played Final Fantasy Tactics, maybe it would have worked, but I wish I had a third, um, what are these types of games called? I don't even know, strategy game. Here we go with the punch out sounds. I had to recreate that bell sound. It's pretty interesting actually, it's like a C. And then a B, but up a whole octave at the same time, super high pitched with like a square wave or a sawtooth, I think. It's weird. I don't know if that made any sense to anyone listening. Here we go, Advanced Wars. Every, every couple years, I get really into Advanced Wars. Dual Strike. And then I um, get bored of it. Here we go. I I put this in because everyone loved Five Nights at Freddy's and I was like, I just got to. I've never played it. I think I could get a decent thing for it. And it turned out pretty good. And then he pops up and is very scary. Advanced Wars does need to come back. Matt Pass lost his shit during this. Is Freddy a top hat? You're asking the real questions. The um in the original when he keeps popping up, that was a bug. I accidentally forgot to put a stop. Um so it kept coming up and I was like, I left it in because it was hilarious. But in the remaster, it would go on forever. You would leave the scene and it would still be doing it. <laughs> so we had to put a stop in there. Why is Freddy at the wall? Are you serious? It should be pretty obvious. I haven't even played Five Nights at Freddy's and I know. Matt Pat always loses his sanity when 
Freddie shows up. Someone asked if the wall is in Russia, Canada, or does it have some weird combination of the t- I think I, I answered this in Discord. It's in Canada. It doesn't honestly doesn't matter, but uh, I just I'm gonna put it in Canada. It's a very north, north northwest Canada. So it's close to Russia. Maybe that's why. I like this scene too. I wish I'd, I think I could have done an even better job. I forgot to click on Carla. I think I could have done an even better job with the um, critical hit animation, but that was like my favorite part of um, <coughs> Fire Emblem. Someone asked if it's in Canada, why do they have Russian accents? Because it's run by a Russian man. And he likes to hire more Russians. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Time to eat a sandwich. Dump. I really was excited to make a buff Castle Crasher Henry. And then he gets kicked in the nards. It's kicked in the nard dog. <laughs> Frosty's escaping. Frosty's in the same place that Freddy's in. And then he dies. Oh, my throat hurts. In which country is it developed? I'm from the US. I live on the west coast of the United States. I was really proud of how this, um, oh, there's a, a wheel that didn't stop, bug. You're out of time game. I was really proud of how the, uh, oops, the truck rolling over turned out. And this one is one of my under, underdog scenes. <laughs> when I first made it, it used to make me bust out laughing every time. You gotta have the Just Cause reference. Shit, I missed him. I got super into Just Cause 2 around this time, I think. I would have 100 percented it if it wasn't broken. And getting 100% in the cities was a pain in the ass. So I gave up. This part. I was really happy with how that turned out. That was really hard. I have to say, Henry, I'm impressed. Really, I am. You're the first person to escape the wall, but this is the end. Yeah, I mean, that was Just Cause 4. I was playing Just Cause 2. This arpeggio I got to make myself. You end up back in the prison, I have to say, Henry, which was really, redrawn a third time when I the when this game originally this came out. We've got two options here, Henry. You stay in there. Airman. I like that one. I think that one's funny. And this scene, like, it's a me trying to do something new again, having choices appear at different times. But it makes it drag on a little bit if you're trying to get them all. Like, you have to wait all the way until here to surrender. How fast is the warp star? It's a warp star. It warps you. Red Mesa is in Arizona. I don't think I ever mentioned that. You're the first person to escape the wall, but this is the end. We've got two options here, Henry. You stay in there, or you return with us back to the complex. What's it going to be, Henry? Well, that's just too bad. He, with one foot, kicks the entire truck off All right, the edge. everyone back to work. Oh, I will not forget about this. See, so he climbed out the bottom and grabbed onto the edge. The music and the scene are both so good. Thanks. I'm really happy with how they turned out, too. This was the first time I ever scored anything for this game. And I feel like I just got lucky. Because I didn't know how to time anything, so I would just write it and put it in. And like, oh. That's actually... Almost. No. 
that's actually pretty good timing. I'm a f no. Does Henry's scarf become part of the mysterious vagabond? It does indeed. Why is a rank text so different from the other games? I don't remember. Did we do this one? No. Wait for transfer. I had to... Flash does an annoying thing with transparencies. I use a lot of layers and groups. So I had to flatten them all into one layer so that you couldn't see, like, each arm and stuff. Why did I retcon presume dead? Yeah, I wanted it to be different from... I wanted it to be different from Ghost Inmate, and I wanted... I had a lot of them start you in that bar or the tavern or whatever. And it wouldn't make sense for him to be in that tavern necessarily if he took a flight. So I was forced. My hand was forced. I like that sound better than the Banjo-Kazooie bubble popping sound I had in the original. I guess it was Banjo-Tooie. I tried to get into StarCraft. It's a game I wish I was good at, but I'm not, and I never will be, so I gave up. Come on now, Come on now brothers! My life for iron! I just, in my head canon, in my head canon, the zealots talk like the um, KKK members in South Park. Hot shower! And then where it says leave noob there, my cousin, uh, in Sweden was like, I don't know his actual ranking, but he made it, I think he was oh, no, like brother. almost Grandmaster, or he made it to Grandmaster. And <laughs> one of the things his brother would encourage him to do is like if he was dominating someone, just type in the chat, leave noob. And so I gave him a, uh, a shout out there to his StarCraft days when all he did was play StarCraft and he was godlike at StarCraft. <laughs> Another, I'm pretty good at making coughing sounds. And here's a guy I missed in the bios. I'll put him at the end. Ahoy! I like the banging sound a lot better in this one. And that ahoy sound is the sound from Banjo Kazooie that the um, the guys in Rusty Bucket Bay make. Ahoy! <coughs> ahoy! Can't do it now. What's StarCraft anyway? Good point. We have our ever topical Alice in Wonderland reference. Kind of a pain in the ass to animate. I really don't like how this one turned out. I think it was inspired by, if you've played Chrono Trigger, when you fight uh, Queen Zeal, she has a move that she does where she like spins a bunch of like the best way I can describe it is laser planes that just like tsh -tsh 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 around you in a circle. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I want to do that. And I tried it and it looked super lame. And then some poor fool gets annihilated down here. It works. This, yeah, I don't know how to fix this bug. It only happens in fleeing the complex. I like doing top at clan last personally. Because it has more yeah. of an epic oh, ending. Henry. Oh, how's it going? Uh -huh. The government ending is just kind of um, oh. uh -huh. normal, I guess is the oh, best I way see. to put it. Huh. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm flying right I'm now, actually. actually. Oh yeah, I had to do a little right. bit of retconning here because yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on if a you mission, choose the top but, uh, bats, to you wait by. two hours. Re recorded a line here. Hey, so uh, I'm getting pretty close. You can tell. Yeah, just uh, try to get outside and I'll, I'll uh, you know. Uh, what was I saying? Hey. So when you get when you get boost up, if you wait for Ellie, the dialogue changes because you're slightly late. I really liked that touch of detail. But then for this one, you wait two hours and the exact same people are doing the exact same thing. So I wanted to make it consistent because that's like a detail that I 
like, and I didn't want, I would have wanted to put different people in, but it was too late. The hay sounds like Peter Griffin. Uh. Here we go. Halo 3. Are you ready for Halo Reach? And then my rendition of Kappa. Never thought he'd see the light of day on Twitch. <laughs> there he is. Ready? Ready doesn't even fucking describe it. Oh my god, I need to get off the screen so the chat can move on. I I think I could have done the Earthbend scene better. Action scenes were still very new for me. I tried to watch actual Avatar scenes. But like, the camera doesn't move at all. Shit. And then it goes straight into... Grand Theft Auto. I had to figure out how to make that sound effect on my own, which was really hard. Is it DSK something? The instrument? DSK Asian sounds or Indian instruments, something like that. I have to get Gary, man. It's cool. It, it's still cool, but I think it could be cooler. I'm just hard on myself now because I've gotten better at action scenes. This wasted sound effect was really hard. EW orchestral. Maybe the the um, horns are and the drums, but the the guitar itself is from like DSK, I think. <laughs> Henry has minus one health. And then this one, I still remember Markiplier thinking I was lazy, but Where it's actually going? a League of Legends reference. What? Hey, so, uh, I see the wall. Oh, you're outside? Nice. nice. I think I see you. Yeah, there's a guard in the way. What program do I, I make this. the soundtracks yeah, with? FL just Studio. Just like the old times. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Okay. So, for this one, he leans out the window with an op. Blasts. Got him. Got him. And Wait. then shoots the wrong guy. Oh. Let me fire on. I wanted, I was, I thought about making a feature where if you clicked on this, it turned it off. And then if you went and did it again, a different fail would happen. But I never did. I never did it. I think it was because I didn't want it to be like a fail. You're, you get to like 59 out of 60 and you're like, what the heck? I've done all of them. I've done all the ones here. I don't know how to get that one because it's so clear. What was my favorite scene to animate out of all the games? Um, it would be Right Hand Man versus Henry with the sword in completing the mission. Didn't I do that with a lockpick? Yeah, you're right, but that, I guess, well, that one's a little different because you don't have to click on anything in the fail screen. You just do the choice over and over. And I hoped that Noticing something different happening would be enough to show you that, oh, I'm missing one fail. And the text is changing, so maybe I have to keep doing this. All right, okay, everyone buckle up. I got the perfect plan. This, this is the, is greatest. the greatest plan. I had no idea that catchphrase would become such a big thing. That's, that sound is the sound of a digital camera turning on. And there you go. Hey, I'm seeing a helipad up here. Could be a pretty good place to get picked up. Uh, once I get close God, though, they'll, uh, they'll probably raise the alarm. He's tired because he had to climb up all the stairs. Yeah, they see me. I'm coming in, get ready. Boop. Oh, I recognize that sound. I forget which one it is. It's something in Among Us. I think it's the emergency meeting sound. Yeah. Just jump off the edge. Wait, was that the plane? This plane would have yeah, worked if they really had communicated. Have that better. I mean, I was not prepared at all. Someone said they don't like the Charles meme culture that much. Yeah, I mean, I get the same way with stuff like stuff that gets repeated over and over really starts to drive it away for me, like 
people saying blank is sus is like so just cringy to me at this point because it's become the like mainstream thing that people say and they don't even know what they're talking about take that his glasses broke there goes your ride I like this one just don't even worry and then they both die and then oh, kicks him in the face And then he's so intimidating, he doesn't even bother trying to shoot them down. And then I had a an actual government theme to use here. I could save some money. And this theme song is from a song I wrote called Mount... What was it called? I should know. Mount Regal. There you go, thanks. Which was written way before completing the mission was even considered to be a game. But I used it in the credits for um, one of the endings in completing the mission. And it just ended up becoming the government theme. I wanted to have more of the soundtrack that I wrote be like fleshed out. I just haven't had the time. I think it's time for another bathroom break. Shut down the boogie. Uh-oh. I caught you again. Scatter like cockroaches. Uh, we're doing top bats now. What a good ringtone. Yes, hello. Henry? What are you? Did I ever design, yeah, consider any complex. other designs for the complex in FTC? Oh, yeah, 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 I briefly mentioned that earlier. Right there. It used to be inside of a jungle. There was also like a top hat variation where it was the top hat base and they had like, that's where I had the cliff side. Oh god, there's so many people there. Um, and there's like a cage that he was stuck in. I like this one personally. Reginald's hat has a gradient, it does. I like this. Hey, Henry! It's me! Yeah, I'm, I'm undercover. Yeah, I'm here to break you out. He's just like, he doesn't even realize what he's done. He's just like, yeah, I'm here. I'm here to break you out. And then everyone looks at him he's like, what? How does Reginald have the map? They have, uh, have you not seen the records room? Deadly neurotoxin. He's eating his mashed taters and beans straight off the tray. 
and then everyone turned into a zombie. It was actually weird to do this with the eyes. I didn't know what to do with the eyes, and then I just like um, hauled them out. Someone asked what inspired the top bats to betray Henry in this round, or inspired me to have them do that. I don't know. I always liked the. I mean, you took. You took the top at leadership away from Reginald by force. He never actually wanted to give it to you. He was desperate. And so you being gone kind of gives him his power back. And I felt like he would want to keep that power. So I kind of did that. Here comes my favorite character. Come on, Henry, let's, go. Ah, let's go. Come on. Get to the airship. Ah, you can use this to get there. The Slingshot. I think the old brown color is still in there. I don't know. I'm not doing this achievement. I don't feel like it. I like this one too. This is like Looney Tunes cartoon Dom. I love it. And then this is just a call out to all the people who go, What? That doesn't make any sense. Why would that happen? How did no one see a giant airship outside the window? Yeah, especially a loud one too. And then sick ride, do the same thing again, same joke again. Is there two that there's a trop, true that there's a top at Charles? Mm. It's up to you. That was a close one, Henry. But I'm not going Here's another to score I did for the first you, time. I become the leader of the Toppet clan I again. Hear the Toppet clan theme briefly to here. Look you in the eyes as I took it all back. First time. Goodbye. The themes are a lot more noticeable in completing the mission, but I was really happy to get the Toppet theme in there for that part. Well, not bassoon specifically. And then I think I had this facing the wrong way in one of them. Because if it was facing the other way, the wall itself would be in the background. Sploosh. And then he dies. He's dead. Henry dies. Oh, my throat hurts so bad. All right, let's save Ellie. And I'm like, Thanks. look at how much I care. I don't care. I ended up buffing up my Listen guys to the change like in voices. Damage. <laughs> That's funny. If you play the original, it sounds horrible because in between... Doo -doo. Whoa, that... Doo -doo -doo. I thought that was coming from behind me and it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> um, I don't remember exactly when, but I, it during this game, I moved. And when I reset up my microphone, I had it set up backwards. So everything was extremely muffled and bass heavy. And I didn't notice until way later. So I had to go in and cut down the bass a whole lot. And yes, um, Ellie is voiced by Reese B. Um, she does not want that attention from this game because <clears throat> there's a lot of people asking and being a female online has its own issues and she doesn't really want to be exposed to it all right everyone strap in oh yeah that's not okay Thanks for the community sub. Lego boy, thanks. I couldn't, honestly, I didn't get the dance done quite right. The way it is in real life, I couldn't get, there's like a skip in there. It's kind of like the engineer's taunt in Team Fortress, but with more, hey, yeah, there's, he's showing up in the cheer. It's kind of like the engineer's taunt a little bit, but then there's like a clap in there that is really hard to get in. Anyways, here's Wonderwall. Oh yeah, that's not. I kept facing the same deck. 
I don't really like this one. I feel like I didn't really capture the Mario and Luigi feeling. And then, all right, I got a story about Tall Guy. Oh yeah, last night, I kept facing the same deck. Hey, hey buddy. buddy. <laughs> so, Tall Guy is the most obscure reference that only five people in this world would get. My roommate at the time that I started working on this game, he had a friend in college who anytime he, like, Instead of saying hi, he would say, hey, buddy. And so all of his, the people in his friend group started saying that too and trying to mimic him. And so I'm hearing it through like, it's like my, my impression of his impression of his friend saying, hey, buddy. I don't know what he sounds like. I never met the guy. But apparently he would go, hey, buddy. And so I put that in here because I thought it was fun. And now 415 people know. How do I feel about the distraction dance becoming a meme? It's a little bit sad that it's such a low effort meme. It's just like, it's like a Rick roll, which is a little bit sad. Mm. If we can get you up there, you could get There's in. There's a lot of bios stuff. coming up. I'm forgetting about them. This judo throw is from Battle Block Theater. Even does the same pose. And I couldn't use the Banjo Kazooie orange splat sound. And then here we got Gravity Bubble Part Version 2. It would actually make a pretty good, like, platformer feature. BHD playthrough. I don't know if I know who that is. All right, the force. I knew, even back on the Newgrounds days, to not use the Star Wars song for this. Someone just asked a question that I want to answer once I click on some bios. Damn, I think I missed one. Inazi fumazi wermo. Um, someone asked if there were any references that I wanted to do that I didn't put in. I had, I even tried to, thought about putting it into completing the mission. I wanted it in this previous scene. I think it was for this one though, when you're by yourself. I wanted to put the little black um, brick things from Mean Bean Machine in as a, they like come in as stairs. Because they're the ones that when they appear, they go, oh, oh, oh. Um, so that was one of those references. And then that guy, I mean, I'll get to him in the bios, but that guy that ran by is from Star Wars. Grenade crossbow. Ow. If I go down, I'm taking you with me. Grenade taser. This thing was annoying to do. All that electricity, every frame, I had to go in with an eraser and like make it not the same thickness because I'm not good at drawing with pen sensitivity or pressure sensitivity. And then probably, this is probably my favorite fail in this game. 360 no scope. Ready? Oh, baby! <laughs> when I first made that scene, I was laughing my ass off. And that doesn't happen often for my own stuff. The music had to change for that one because I got it from Newgrounds and it was apparently just ripped from a like an instrument example song or whatever. Like here's this VST, here's what you can make with it. And so it was removed and I didn't know this for the longest time. 
So I, I tried to contact the, the VST people, but they never got back to me. So I had Zanz write another song, which turned out pretty good, I think. Um, and that hit marker sound, I think I just made it by going, or no, I took a, um, I took an arrow sound, an arrow hitting wood and just sped it up like seven times. Uh, what else was in that one? Oh, just in general, back in college, I would actually have like quick scoping lobbies with my friend for like two hours. We would just run around trying to quick scope each other and do 360s and throwing knives. Have I seen any non-stick figure designs from fans that I really like? Yeah, there's a bunch on uh, on Twitter. I don't. I can't think of any specific examples. I like that one because you think that. Hey, uh, Ellie's making a mistake. Like, why are you shooting me? And then it works out because he twitches and shakes so much that uh, he can load the bolts really fast. Man, I might not have the voice to do this again tomorrow. We'll see how I feel. And then in here, blend in, we've got Cole Phelps. Thanks. Can you believe this inmate operator? I tried to copy his voice him? because he's yes, an annoying he piece of shit. Oh, you guys new here? oh yeah, we transferred from the eighth floor. From the cafeteria? Nice try, inmates. But yeah, oh yeah, there's the other. Is this a Makarov, I think? Russian handgun. This, I mean, I played Ellie Noir, but it was also inspired by, there was a guy that made Gary's mod videos called Das Bo Shit, and he had one, I think it was like Duke Nukem's Day Off or something, and he like captures a guy and throws him into a, a room to interrogate him, and it brought in the Ellie Noir thing. He's like, oh, that's really funny. I want to do that. But yeah, I hate Cole Phelps. And that game, <laughs> that game was... The ending was kind of lame. And then here's a reference I threw in. We'll regroup with a uh, third floor. We'll help them clear out maximum security. How do you think? Duh, I like. Hitman. Who get the guards? Oh, fuck, I missed one. I wanted that to be in the previous game or in the original, but I didn't know how to make the sound. So it never happened. Have I ever played a Hitman game? Yeah, I played Blood Money during this, I think, or before this. And I wanted that to be here because he does the exact thing. He puts his head like in Blood or no, Absolution. You can like hold control to like cover your face or whatever. How much time does it take to make a single room? Like the background, the background can take like four hours. We'll regroup with that. Oh, it's an easy time to get them here. Oh, I think that is screen. Back to your cell, inmate. Adrenaline from Left 4 Dead. I think the sarcasm in this uh, fail text doesn't quite come across, even with the um, dot dot dots. Is there anything, any reference with taser, sniper? No, I just, that's one of the ones where I'm like, I'll just have this happen. I really like this one too. I like it even more in um, completing the mission, but. Dash dance into short hop forward air. You win. Perfect. You win. How does Ellie know Henry's name? They, I, they introduce themselves off screen. Cause I thought about that. I was like, I don't want Henry to say like, oh, I'm Henry, what's your name? Cause he never learns her name either. Someone's asking about the Top Bat clan. I kind of explained it before. It was based on the old days when it was just stick figures and the bad guys had top hats on. So you could tell who was a bad guy. Here we go, Mr. Lemming. I think Two Left Thumbs commented on this and got it pretty much exactly right. Here's a, this is a Lemming, by the way, from 
from the game Lemmings. You can give them jobs, and this one is like the stopper, I think. It stops people. How many fighting references were there? It was just um, Smash Brothers and Street Fighter. There's an alternate take of this All right, yeah, we're good. where it scrolls to the side and the window rolls down and there's a guard inside the driver's seat. But I went with this instead. Gotta get a Waldorf here. Apple Waldorf salad. Well, if it isn't heavy, I'm pretty happy with how this worked out too. You think that she abandons you? Most people do it, I hope. But then she comes back with the stop sign and bashes him in the face. And then, in the next one, his teeth are still knocked out. And then Ockroyd wrote a killer D&D mix of her theme song. How many references was I thinking of adding? Uh, I don't know. I don't count. Oh, my throat's killing me. No. All right, let's check the bios. I know I missed a bunch, but that's okay. Henry Stickman. Ellie Rose. I'm glad people like the last name. It's always scary to put a last name to a big character. I'm glad someone just gave a big story, but uh, the betrayed asking if the game would continue from there. And they said they did that one first. I anticipated a lot of people doing the betrayed first. So I put a lot of extra effort into making it good. Dmitry Petrov. I know there's a weird thing about age. He's been in charge for 50 years, so he's gotta be like 70 or something, I don't know. And then everyone's got to have a right-hand man. Charles Calvin. Reginald. He, you can see how his hat... Oh, that's the gradient thing you meant. Yeah, because he used to have a second hat on there so long that um, it changed the color of it. Oh, someone's saying the... Uh, Sniper taser, that's kind of what happens in Payday. I forgot about that. It wasn't an intentional reference. Heath Stone, because he's talking about Hearthstone, get it? And this guy's name is Isaac Binderson, like Binding of Isaac, because he has a monstrous tooth in his inventory. I think it did used to be Terrence's old hat that he was wearing on top of it, and then it becomes Henry's hat. Horace Johnson. Just a random dude. Mike Mulligan. <laughs> when I was growing up, one of my friends, we all used to draw comics and one of my friends, I think he wanted to get into it just cause we all were. And so I was trying to help him and we came up with the idea of a snake character named Mike Mulligan. So that's where that name comes from. Ibram Jocelyn, random name. Joris Borgir. There's a lot of non-English speakers in this one. Travis Ump. And Olof Nordgren. With the Norwegian O. And then we got Nikolai Dietrim. Master of the Slav Squat. And Matthias Guardsmith. What a great name. His mom bought him those earmuffs. Travis Scott Borger. And then we got Gary Mann, which I think, yeah, I think Two Left Thumbs commented on this too, but it is a reference to like all the Valve games at once. G Man, which is the actual Half Life dude. And then Manco from uh, Team Fortress. And I think Gary Mann is one of the brothers. Captain Laszlo, Milos, Tormund. I think I actually looked up like a name generator for some of these because I wanted them to be all in the, I forgot about Soda Popinski. I mean, Coca-Kolinski. 
and he reconsidered previous designs. Yeah, I already talked about that. You can rewind and check it out. Friedrich Spielen. Spielen means to play in German. And then Harold Cooper. Another German guy. This guy actually speaks German in my in my head. Will Speck. You can tell he seems like the type of person that'll trash talk even if he's losing. And did I Loius Stoop? There's some there's some typos in these. Is Travis Ump a reference to No More Heroes? I haven't played No More Heroes, so no. I forgot about Karlov and Coca Kolinsky. Carl Pilker Pinkerton. I was super into um I don't even remember what it's called. That that podcast with Ricky Gervais and Carl Pink Pilkington in his Idiot Abroad series. And I tried to do his accent. I just can't do it that well. I can all I can do is say like, eh, it's all right, that yeah. But anytime I need to say anything else, it kind of falls apart. And Newt Stonehill. Kaboom, right in the nards. Little monkey fella. Chimpanzee that, it's monkey nose. Franz Ferdinand. Daniel Dolce. Limoy Krauts. They called him DK. But not it's not Drift King. Jimothy. Another Jimothy, wow. I wrote these on different days, so and I was writing so many I forgot which ones I'd used. Lee Bumbler, Bumbler Interactive. That's a uh, donkey video. Bumbler Interactive. They made Gex along with 50 million other companies. And Willie Wagner. Great name. Because he wags his Willie around. Nadia. Wallace Pemberton. I don't know what this um this wall logo really signifies. It's like an eye with a thing around it. That's just what it ended up being. Oh, it's right here too. But that's the wall logo. Am I happy with how the game turned out? Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing completing the mission tomorrow. If I we'll see how my voice holds up. My voice is dying right now. Jim Pinkson. He loves jelly and jelly sandwiches. Fun fact, I don't like jelly. Kato Ito. I tried to pick a, a name that sounded like it came from Avatar, but I don't think I did a very good job. Ryan Halberd, what a cool name. Although anytime I see Ryan, I think of The Office. Joe Joshin, just Joshin, yeah. Someone, someone says I must hate the Jerma sus meme. I'm kind of sad because I really like Jerma, and I know it's not like, it's not his fault. It's just unfortunate that that happened, I guess. Among Us isn't for everyone. But I'm glad he doesn't like hate it. Gordon Smith. It's another Gordon. Or Gordon was a last name. Joey Walnut. I think it's supposed to be a reference to Joey Chestnut. I think that was his original name, and then I realized that was a real person. Sal Man. Like salmon. And see, he's not wearing a hat because he forgot to uh, bring his uniform. Sten Villo. Sten means rock in Swedish, or Stian. And he likes to stand out in the snow. Kurdru Johansson. He's wearing sunglasses at night, like a complete gadoof. Alex Kempter. Walking around with a stinger missile. This stinger missile is very basic. I think I should have redrawn it. And then Arnold Schwartz. And we got him again, Krieg Howes. 
Back from the bone melt. Sure shot Sherman. Different sure shot than the other guy. Another Gordon, another Smith. Oh yeah, wait. This might be Smith that they're talking about. And then we got Thomas again, everyone's favorite. Mr. Cool. Wild Willy. Gastro. <clears throat> Punkhauser. Two left thumbs got very hung up on this German biker gang. I think that's probably where he went the farthest <laughs> off the rails. I don't think Ellie was part of any German biker gang. But who knows? Uh, water's not helping at this point. Someone's asking if Sam Turner is non-binary. Yeah, they are. Uba. I wanted another caveman name that wasn't Ungus Bungus. I'll have to have some green tea after this. Oh, and this is Mad Max. I mean, Angry Mike. And Jack Septic Eye. I feel bad that his cameo is like really hard to spot because he was the first one to play all the games. But I met him at PAX a couple times and I told him about it and he, he knew about it. Here we go. Gus Garno, also known as Gas Gano. I'll pull up some sound clips for you guys. I, I like the... Um, the voice lines in Star Wars Episode One Pod Racing. There's a lot of screams at the beginning. There he is. <laughs> Ia Pandusta. That's it. I noticed that all the aliens say the same lines, which is kind of cool. Get tea. I'll be okay. Melvin Poolridge. Kind of like Calvin Coolridge. Derek Gorludo. Colby Phelps. Dan the Man. I like this one. Because <laughs> it's kind of layered. He wanted to go by Dan of Steel, but that was taken by a character in JoJo. But he had to change his name because he wanted to be Steely Dan. So he got, had to be Dan the Man. Little Mikey, an innocent dude, some French guy again, Pierre Francois. You can tell he's French because of the curved beard. And then Babushka. Carl the Clown. All these things, I was like, this was the end of the day. I was writing bios. At this point, I'm like, I don't even know, dude. This guy's a clown. And, uh, yeah. Oh, look. The one that proves that Among Us and Henry are in the same universe, right? Isn't that, isn't that how, it, that's how, isn't this how it works? I miss this guy. And then Sean S.E. Lemming. His name is Sean because... Jack Septic, I thought that he was him, and the SE stands for Septic Eye, but the lemming proves that it was actually a lemming all along. And Mark Emu. I had to give them cameos, but it was really cool to see both of them playing all the games back in like 2014. Two toes. <sighs> Get over here, Uba. One, two, oh, but there's like more back here that you can't see because this big middle one blocks them. Same with this one. Fight me. This guy's heavy weapons guy. This guy's Australian. And I forgot about this guy, so he got put at the end. Ray Rudolfo. I have like a million notifications. Okay. 
So I could go back and get the bios. Wait, what achievements do I still need? I didn't get them. I didn't get, oh yeah, I don't want to do that one. Bios, oh, big Goron sword. I don't want to do that one either. I could, uh, what is Charles as a rank? I don't know. I had to look up ranks to make sure that I gave people promotions and not demotions on accident. But I don't know them off the top of my head. I could do, a, do some quick Q&A while I wrap up here. Get the sword in one go if you do all the parts in the right order. That's true. <laughs> Two toes monk. Thoughts on among dripped. I don't want to talk about among drip. Stop asking. The pets, the Henry pets in Among Us are should not be canon. It's like it's a weird circular thing because. In the Flame the Complex trailer, it proves that Henry's six feet, but crewmates are canonically three feet. But then the crew, the the pets are even shorter. They're like one foot. It doesn't make any sense. Was it hard to make the guns in the collection? No, I like drawing guns. One of my favorite things. I like drawing guns. I hate drawing vehicles and plant life. Will this stream be saved? Yeah, I need to figure out how to download it so I can upload it on YouTube. Can I do the right hand man's voice? Not right now, my voice is very sore. Curbs Games has some questions for completing the mission tomorrow. I, I, I'm hoping I can do it tomorrow. We'll see how my voice feels. I'll tweet about it in the morning. I didn't expect it to take this much uh, strain on my throat. I like this song. Don't ask about Among Us, I'm not talking about Among Us right now. Is there a reason I don't voice act in regular streams? Um, oh, if you're talking about the, uh, the Bones rewards, it was just becoming exhausting. And everyone wants to ask something and I just want to play games. How do I do colors so well? It took me years to learn how to do colors. Akroy did great with this theme. I wrote this song. <laughs> Unless you mean taking the top at theme for other parts of the game. Why is there no skip intro button? Because there are no intros. You have to skip the intro. Clever part two when? Uh, I don't know. Sometime. Is the ending in CTM inspired by the lock on tech from Sonic and Knuckles? I don't think so. Oh, too slow. If I was a blind player, what would be my favorite ending? I don't know. When is Attacking the Tower coming? The press start theme is just so amazing. Thank you. How long did it take to do all the backgrounds for the past five games? An entire year of full-time work. Am I proud of my old series? Yeah. What are my thoughts about the glitches? Sad. Make me cry. When did I first think about CTM? 2016. I have a specific order for the previous leaders. I think they're they're in order in that hallway. Why doesn't the wall appear more in CTM? It doesn't make sense for them to. It gets too messy. I only wanted one path that had all the factions causing chaos. Am I surprised by the large amount of attention Henry got? Yeah. What was my prime inspiration for this game? My inspiration was, hey, I can make this. I know how to make buttons. I know how to make movie clips go and stop. I'm actually not a big fan of most point and click games. So this was me going, 
This is what I like. This is how I want point and click games to be. Switch it up. Crashing the casino is coming out on Switch. I don't know if you're being serious, but I don't think so. Why does the CCC go to extremes to cause chaos or contain chaos? I don't know. It's funny. I'm feeling good. I'm just. I have not talked for four and a half hours straight before. How tall are Sven and Charles? I don't remember. They're all the same height. Six feet. The Dogo Bogo Jungle. Did I learn to draw T's for CTM? Yeah. Who's the narrator? It's me. <laughs> Do I have any backstory for the CCC in my head? No. Favorite background character? Probably Jeffrey. I don't think Crashing the Casino is allowed to come out on the Switch, sorry. At least... Not before an official Henry game does. They saw the energy sword and assumed an Xbox version while well, there's not there's no plans for console. Do I like watermelons? They're alright. I don't like the texture that much. What are my thoughts on Sledge and Hans Spearman? I I feel like they needed more screen time. Was it hard to think of all the ranks in CTM? Yes, incredibly hard. <laughs> and keeping them all like straight in my head and um, what's it called? Keeping it straight in my head and keeping uh, it consistent was the hardest part. I'll point out stuff when I play it tomorrow. Favorite snack? I like, um, I guess they're called RX bars. They're good for energy. Is there any scrapped roots for CTM? Yeah, like half, or not half, like four of them. I just left completely blank until I'd finished half of the game because I was just getting stuck. And I needed more things solidly locked in. Oh, yeah, I never played the Sonic game, so I don't really know. Are Burton Sven friends? I don't know. They don't exist outside of the scenes they're in. If there used to be a Top Hat Charles, no. Unless you think Bert is. I heard of the fan comic ending the cycle. No. Among Us isn't made in Flash. The art is, but uh, Henry is actually made with Flash. And nothing supports Flash anymore. Who got Henry the package? Sounds like someone needs to complete the mission. my favorite song. Let me see. You can't mute through here. I'll just open up Flash for you guys visually. I'm just going to play some uh, of the Henry soundtrack while I answer questions. You can see the little black dots where I accidentally clicked off the screen. When will we see Top Hat Clan action figures in our local Walmart? Uh, never. Finish Red Ball, no thanks. Original loading screen featured Henry's house. No, I didn't I don't feel like putting it in the remake. I've seen someone asked about the can you finish Henry without QTEs? I've seen the thumbnails for them, but I didn't click on them. Someone in the wiki said there's a 
bio labeled top at Charles. That's not even how the files work. So that's just incorrect. Which would I join top at clan of the wall? Top at's 100%. What character am I surprised got as much attention as they did from the fans? I mean, the amount of people yelling about Dave and uh, Thomas. I guess Sven too, I like Sven. What's my Discord? It's locked. There's too many people in it. The hardest bio to get is the one in completing the mission when you're in space and there's a guy running. Plan on making another game in the future? No, these games are done. In terms of other types of games, yes. Among Us is my primary focus. I don't pay attention to heights, they're all the same heights. What would the gay band do if it actually worked? Who knows? If I don't have to show it, I don't care. <laughs> it's too much effort to think about it. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna come up with something, you'll see it. If not, I'm not gonna come up with it. It's too much work. I don't want to make console ports of the Henry games. How good this music to chill. It's kind of I don't know. I feel weird having a playlist of my own songs, but I do. I'm not going to discuss shipping. Would Hans have a bigger role if he had a bigger role? I guess. Who's my favorite wall member? Does uh, the undercover guy count? Do I have a favorite ending in CTM? I'll answer that question after I play it because I... I don't know. <laughs> I was too close to him for so long, I can't objectively decide which ones are good. What was the inspiration of the walkthrough fail? The inspiration was the flash video splash attack combined with people who do YouTube tutorials and they make a 10, vi 10 minute video on how to copy and paste something. What's my favorite donut in Breaking the Bank? It's gotta be, uh, it's the the one on the right in the meeting room. Do I think Henry would sing Big Time Rush? No. I wonder if that counts, good. Do I use VCAM? No, I've never learned how to use it. I think it would have helped. It's my favorite character besides Ellie Charles. Oh, right hand man. Does Henry like banana bread? Probably. Who's my least favorite character? I think, didn't I, someone said I answered this before, I forgot who it was. Do I use zero smoothing or 30? I used 32, but they changed it now. So now I use like the second highest. You can see it on the screen. It's right here. This is the original. I watched Dexter, uh, some of it. I stopped before it got horrible. Were I considering adding more wall in completing the mission? No, I didn't want to force it. What FPS? 24. I used to, the, um, escaping the prison and stealing the diamond were in 32, and then I realized that I don't need to work so hard. So I switched it to 24. What's my favorite achievement? Um, the crewmates one. I realize I sound extremely boring right now, but... My throat. References or jokes that I couldn't add due to it being too close. I don't really have anything like that I can think of off the top of my head. Thanks for subbing, Moo Moo. The HD one. 
Did the remakes come out the way I wanted? Yeah. I hate that his hat is slightly differently colored. You can't tell. Unless you get really close. What do I think about people's head cannons? I'm not going to control people's head cannons. They can do whatever they want. Wait, 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 wait. Would I license Henry? No, probably not. Randy? People really like Randy. I have no idea. Are there any cancelled sequels? No. What's my favorite museum member? Dave. Everyone is the same height. If they're different heights, I'm just bad at drawing. Randy the Pog Party Man. I like him too. Is CCC reference to SCP? No, I had not heard of them when I made it. Have I considered type posting other content? Yeah, I've thought about putting stream highlights, but I don't have the time to edit them. Favorite thing I've drawn for the game. A lot of the big, like, structures. BRB, I don't know what that is. Yeah, any fan art is cool in my book. I think it's awesome. Is Dogo Bogo inspired from a real jungle or place? Um, not the name, but the location is kind of. The inspiration for that setting came from Kingsman 2. Oh, Timmy's doing six feet tall. Got him. Jeff, Jeffrey's six feet tall. Got him. Have you ever scrapped any characters? Yeah, Fu Manchu guy. He's gone. I never came up with a name for him. Why does Henry act so stupid? Because stupid equals funny. What's the first four numbers of pi? You mean 3.14159265? Which painting is my favorite? Ah. It's gotta be Gilnar the Great. Yeah, I don't want to end up in the position where my fans force me to keep making these types of games. So I'm going out on my own terms. Did I ever finish, think I would finish this game? Oh, did I ever think I would never finish it? No, but I was worried it would take forever. I hit a really good streak in the final year of the game. I think I finished 60% of the game in one year. On Spearman and Sledge being best friends. Sounds cool. Is Ted still alive? Probably. Here's the thing. Anything that's not on the screen, I don't care. People can be alive. They can be dead. They can be... They can all date each other. I don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> People can do whatever they want. Your head cannon can be cannon for you. I don't care. I'm not going to tell you what is what. If it's not on the screen... It doesn't matter. Will we do Henry merch soon? Yeah, we're working on it. I need to find more time to like help. The problem for me with merch is that I don't buy a lot of merch to begin with, so I'm not very good at coming up with it. But if you have any things that you want from Henry when it comes to merch, you can email merch at innersloth.com with your suggestions. How come Right Hand Man Reborn is so strong? But he uses regular weapons. It's because they only make him use 10% of his power. He doesn't need to turn it up unless it gets hard. Is 
slap a design on a shirt. Yeah. I want to make a shirt that has the right hand man earthbound battle on it. Was Doctor Was right hand man reborn fixed up by Doctor V? Yeah, I mean that's kind of implied. They have the same style. is the only female not voiced by Reese B. Because <laughs> I only had like two voice recording sessions. And at the time I didn't know I needed that one. Why well, kill Henry and Revenged? Because make energy a real product. Music is kind of loud. It's me that's quiet. Turn down a little bit. See, okay. When did Charles join the army? Who cares? <laughs> I'm sorry. I appreciate that you're interested in all the characters, but I can't, I don't have the mental capacity to come up with every little detail. Where did I get the sound for right hand man's laser blast? Which part? Is it the firing or the effect itself? Because I think I had to generate that one. Is there any way you can find the old streams? They should stay archived for like one month, I think, or three, I don't remember. How dare you compare me to JK Rowling. How many rooms in CTM does Henry have in his house? Uh, between zero and 569. Am I tired? Yeah, I need to eat dinner soon. Which soundtrack am I most proud of? That's a hard one. I really like Tickets Please, but that one was blown out of the water by the Siva Gunner version. I like Two Idiots, the beginning of it. I like most of the main theme songs. I like this. Oh no. That's what I was thinking of. Not again. What was the inspiration for Ellie? I don't know. Make a female character. <laughs> when did I start watching JoJo? Two years ago? Drake and Josh, yeah. Can I show you some of the originals in Flash? Original what? I can pull up the Siva Gunner tickets, please. Okay, put in my likes. This is the wrong one. It's so good. How would I react if Henry got a me costume? That'd be awesome. How do I feel about people getting nostalgia? It feels super weird. Like, right at the start of the stream someone's like, these games are as old as me, and I'm like, oh wow. It's crazy. This song is called Metal Crusher Alternate Mix on YouTube. Did I have any plans for Ellie to appear in other ghost inmate paths? No, I think one evil Ellie path was enough. Most people hate that path because she's mad at you. I surprised got back to me for music. Oh god, I was playing now. 
Um, I don't know. I, I would check their activity and if they hadn't posted in two years, I was like, well, this is a gamble. I understand the abruptness of Civil Warfare, and I will cede that, but, man. What the heck? Why does my chat say Choo Choo Hype Kick? What was my inspiration for making the scooter? The inspiration was, it looks like, you think it's a motorcycle, but then it's a scooter. And then actually, I forgot about that. Um, it was supposed to be a scooter like the ones that you sit on, but the wires got crossed in my brain and I made it the scooters that you pedal with. And then that just worked out. Thanks, Nabon. Here's my version. Will there ever be an amiibo? Probably not. See a Galactic Knight. Any limitations while developing? Yes, Flash. <laughs> Flash is a pain in the ass, and I'm very glad I don't have to rely on its infrastructure anymore. I can only use it for art. Yeah, the distraction dance question was answered. You'll have to go back and look at it up. I think once the uh, soundtrack ends, I'll wrap it up. Someone's asking about headcanon stuff again. Yeah, your headcanon is up to you. I'm not going to control your own headcanon. Did I take any inspiration from Mysterious Vagabond Mask? I mean, probably like um, the Winter Stormtroopers or something. Every song should be on new grounds that I wrote, except for like three second ones. How was I considering Charles's Referencing Charles's plan three times. Yeah, I didn't want Charles to crash multiple times because that's like beating a dead horse. See you, Svensson. Yeah, grab him music. I can show the, the files in Flash sometimes. Or sometime. It depends on, I have to like, whoops, think of interesting stuff to show. Maybe I'll go through like, this is one of my favorites. Rev up those fryers. Uh, I don't know if there is a way to do that. Is it weird that you have nostalgia for Right Hand Man Reborn? Yeah. I forgot that he like wasn't like that always. Oh yeah, the Crassel Crassel Crasher helmets in the uh, museum. Do I use Adobe Audition? No. Well, sometimes I use Audition for the filter for Charles's comms and for any um, of that kind of stuff. But I mostly use Audacity for everything else because I know how to use it. Oh, did I show my taskbar? Inside jokes in the community. I honestly probably don't know them. Which character would sing Big Time Rush? I don't know that song, so I'm gonna say Charles. What version of Adobe Animate? 2019. I upgraded to 2020 and it sucked a big old dongus and actually made me slower, so I went back. The 
the audio files exist separate from each other. I don't know how it gets put together. Dave McChicken, I don't even know what that is. What's my favorite dance? Um, Donkey Kong in the distraction diversion. When I do part two, I invite Forte over. Probably not. <laughs> I don't think he would have as much to say as me. So he would just be sitting around watching me and then he'd chime in every hour. Yeah, there's a, uh, there's a playlist on Newgrounds for all the songs in the Henry Stickman collection. Potential among a stream in the future with all of Inderslav. Yeah, if we have time, which we don't. The collection will never be updated. Thanks, Beans Lol. Is Bucket Hat canonically blind? I don't know. If it doesn't say anything, then it doesn't say anything. I'd like to get the soundtrack up on Spotify. I've talked with Ocroid a little bit about it. To at least get mine and his up there. I can't get the other ones because I don't... I don't... How do I put this? I don't own the songs. So I don't want to put them under my name. I'd have to rally like 20 different artists to set up a Spotify. Some people's are already up there, like Elation has his up there. Uh, Zans has some of his up there too. This is the last song, by the way. Oh, wait, there's one more. But it's, hey. It's not from Henry, but is it? It kind of is from Henry, but it's not. But it is. But it's not. I really like how this one turned out. By remaster infiltrating the airship on mobile. No. Is there any cut music? Uh, maybe, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Did I always intend for Charles to have more lines? I knew he was going to have a lot of lines because Henry doesn't talk, and that's the way I do things. Anyone he, Henry gets paired with talks, gives information to the player. And so I knew Charles was going to be saying a lot. That's why I made his voice easy to do. Whew. All right. Uh, with that... I'm going to turn it in. It's already 7 o'clock. I need to eat dinner and not speak for the next five hours. Thanks for tuning in. I'll post on Twitter if I do another stream tomorrow. But if I do, it'd be the same time as today, and I'd play through completing the mission. I'm actually kind of excited to play it because I haven't, I haven't looked at completing the mission in three months. And I think it'll help with uh, me enjoying it. It was not very... <laughs> I wasn't enjoying the game when it came out. I had been looking at it for too long. <sighs> Thanks for tuning in, everyone, though. <laughs> I'll figure out how to put this on YouTube eventually. Bye-bye. Oh,